maybe I don't know what just happened. Something crashed. It said it was OBS crashed, but the game also crashed. <laughs> uh, please, PC, please, PC, don't do this to me. Is this your back box lurking? Ha have a good lurk. Shall we try this again? Shall we try this again? Okay, okay, so far so good. Right, can you guys see it? Because apparently my app is playing up anyway, so I can't see what's going on in my app full stop. It's not frozen. I haven't I haven't done anything. So something's going wrong with OBS. Something is crashing within OBS. So my preview for OBS is really weird. But I can deal with that. I can deal with that as long as the game is now working. But something is actually crashing within OBS. So that's what I want for the day. Right. That's exactly what I wanted for today. Oh. Well, apparently I'm just oh, walking on the boat. What do we have here? Signore... This is Constable Anton Zellner. Signore Zellner, I heard about your feats in the mountains. Welcome aboard the MS Lydia. Thank you, Captain. I didn't know you'd be taking part in the journey. <laughs> but I'm glad to have you with us. I'll have a nice cabin prepared for you immediately. The Constable will not be joining us. He has other duties. Oh. That's too bad. I would have loved to hear about his adventures from the man himself. I'd like to accept your offer, but unfortunately, higher powers prevent it. I am sorry to hear that. We are by no means full and have plenty of room for one more passenger. The constable just wants to have a quick look around and then leave before we set sail. When will that be? Oh, in about uh, 15 minutes. There you have it, Constable. May I ask how to get to the cargo hold? Oh, Signore, there are much nicer places on now, the boat. I like the cargo hold. But I'm hold. interested in the cargo hold. Why is that? One of the trunks seems suspicious to me. Someone could be hidden in it. You? <laughs> you want to imply that the most brilliant and probably richest thief in all of Europe is stowing away in a trunk? That's not his style. That's what makes it more likely that it's not him, but a copycat who's behind all this. And a copycat's style might include doing whatever it takes, like hiding in a trunk if they've lost the ticket. Oh, come now. Actually, it would be possible for a registered passenger to board the ship without a ticket. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, I'm boarding the ship without a ticket. Like, I'm literally on this ship and I don't have a ticket, so, like, this shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. What do you mean? You can't buy a ticket for the Lydia at the counter. You book the trip in advance. 
We know the names of all the passengers. As long as a passenger is on the guest list, we let them board the ship. Doesn't matter if they have a ticket or not. And did any of the passengers board without a ticket? I couldn't say. We ask for a name and check it on the list. The tickets are no more than souvenirs for the passengers. So much for your trunk theory. Regardless of what you say, I would still like to examine the cargo hold. All right, then, if you like. But we'll meet here again in ten minutes. Captain De Conti, before we depart, I'd like to send two telegrams. Certainly, Inspector. The cargo hold is over there. You can enter through a door on the forecastle. The horn will sound twice, five minutes before we set off. That's the signal for all the dock workers to leave the ship. Understood, Captain. I will not leave the ship. Follow me to the bridge. You can send your telegrams from there. My time is running out. If I don't find anything in the cargo hold, my cruise will be over before it even begins. Oh, no. Fantastic! I can't see anything again. That's the young woman's cabriolet. Apparently, they absolutely had to take it to Egypt. At Daddy's expense, of course. I like... Oh, what's this? Aha. Uh -huh. Why do I have to be in the dark again? <clears throat> Hello? Come on out. <clears throat> Hello? Come on out. The game's up. I... I'm opening the trunk. It's empty. He hello? Where am I going? So I'm not, is that from the, the car? Shards are... From a moose? I startled too easily. Well, 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 Now, how believable is this? <laughs> how believable do you think that is? Going. Ouch. How Damn. is Candle oh. Saturday? Ah. You 
be best if no one found out about this. Still having trouble sleeping? That sucks, mate. There's some blood and hair stuck to the pipe. Hair I really can't afford to lose. I'll hold it on the blood spattered end. After all, we already know who the victim is. Could you not, like... You having a decent day, Bob and Ty? Good. Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. I didn't lock the door when I came in. Hmm? It's already dark outside. How long have I been unconscious? A while, buddy. <sighs> Whoever locked the door is stronger than me. Detention cell for crew members, or maybe for rowdy passengers. The shot hit this crate. The question is, was the gunman actually trying to? It looks like it's mid so, uh, midday outside. Why? I know it was very, very um, bright outside. The cargo hold seems to be used as a changing room for the crew as well, or at least the part of the crew that doesn't do their work in white suits. Okay. I can't imagine a more effective warning. It's too dark to make out anything inside the hole. Uh, I should take a closer look later. Okay. Oh, there's something there. A chair is the last thing I need right now. I was sitting long enough over there in the corner. Maybe you should sit in this corner, you know? Pretty nice corner. Okay, there's nothing here. What about this door? I can make out a corridor, but no details. The glass is too dirty, and there's no light in there. It's no use. The door seems to be locked from the other side. Rear pressure bulkheads usually only open from one side. So if a room were flooded, a drowning sailor wouldn't be able to open the bulkhead and endanger the whole ship. Unfortunately, I'm on the Why side Why am I dressed by as McDonald's? This, Cause this is what Swedish people think is the height of fucking fashion, isn't it? Oh no, he wasn't Swedish. He was from Switzerland, wasn't he? One of you European countries. I was close enough. I don't see anyone. Should I call for help? But what if whoever knocked me out is still around? Or even the gunman? Stupid Swiss. <sighs> whoever locked it. I didn't lock it. What? What am I doing then? Fuck! Oh. Maybe this? I should be careful. The gunman may still be nearby. I've forgotten the buttons, guys. That's, that's what it is. I've forgotten the buttons. <laughs> what are you up to, Zelna? The real question is, why are you threatening me with a gun? Don't push your luck, Zellner. Why didn't you leave the ship as we agreed? I was jumped in the cargo hold. Of course you were. Here, look, careful how you hold it. There could be fingerprints on the end. Surely you don't expect me to believe you. 
I was inspecting the trunk. I found it in the cargo hold, and it was clear that someone had hidden inside it to board the ship. Some people are willing to go to great lengths to be a part of this journey. Indeed. Whoever it was, they struck me on the head from behind with the pipe while I was looking for clues. There's oh, nice have attachments for everything. Well. Ridiculous. You wanted to come along. Orders be damned, and so you found a way to stay here. I should throw you overboard. I would have dreamed up something less painful. Hmm, true. That doesn't look good. See? And there's a bullet wedged in a wooden crate down there. I don't have a gun. The doctor should have a look at it. Well, the bullet hole on my head. Come with me. <laughs> Which one? Which one is he examining? Inspector Legrand and Constable Zelna. So you have decided to join us on our journey after all. So it would seem. We are searching for Dr. Gebhardt. I'm just fine, Captain Conti. <laughs> the Conti. I'm in control. I can manage. Tell James he absolutely must wake me at a quarter to ten. Certainly, madam. Absolutely. I shall see that he does. And now, I shall return to my chambers. You'll be in the bar tonight at ten, Inspector. If He's already that's fucking what you wish. It will be spectacular. I promise. The fresh sea air. I enjoyed that computer and animated Tintin movie. To many. But I'm glad that you decided to join us on our journey to Cairo. Not quite voluntarily. So he says. I was jumped from behind. But no, that that is. Dr. Gephardt should have a look at him, Captain De Conti. Of course. Please have a seat in the saloon, Constable Zelna. I'll summon the doctor. Ah, Doctor, there you are. Our brave Constable Zelda was attacked. Struck on the head. Oh. Sit down, please. Now, please, tell me exactly what happened. Uh... I think you've got a stowaway on board. I was jumped. Intolerable. I'll have the crew search every nook and cranny of the ship. And of course, Mr. Zelna, you are cordially invited to travel as our special guest. Good to know that at least one man doesn't want to throw me overboard. Is it bad? Yes, it hurts a lot. I spoke with Dr. Gebhardt. He suffered a violent blow to the back of the head. I cannot really say how bad it is. But I can. It really hurts. Why didn't anyone come looking for me? <laughs> didn't anyone notice so that I didn't come moment. back from the cargo hold? We did search for you, but we couldn't find you. Who was supposed to search the cargo hold? Constable Oliver. I'll have a talk with him about that later. I should hope so. How many fingers do you see? Too many. What fingers? Fingers? Mr. Zelna. <laughs> Three fingers. Okay. Where are, Where are we? we? And, and what time is it? I must have been out for ages. Fingers? There's fingers here! PM. You just missed dinner. But we'll all meet here in the saloon at 10 o'clock to have a drink together. Greeting the passengers personally is a tradition I will not break. Why is that at 10 o'clock though? That seems very You're late. All right now, Constable. The bleeding has stopped, and the wound looks good. You may have a mild concussion. You just need a good night's sleep. And tomorrow, your only worries will be a headache and an impressive bump. Thanks. That's a good enough reason to celebrate. Enough about crooks and thieves. From now on, you can start to enjoy You're free, your cruise. cruise. Uh, 
Inspector! What? That was absolutely shadow. nothing in my Upper glass. Jack, just now. Go, let's have a look. There's still Are nothing in my glass. Me too. No, you stay here. Do you want to make this an argument? Robert, go to the Baroness and don't let her out of your sight. Zelna, you're coming to the port side. Doctor, you go to starboard. I'll start at the forecastle and work my way back to the two of you. Understood? But... Be brave, Doctor. Be brave. Baroness von Trebitz. Hello? Baroness von Trebitz. It was such a bad concussion. I couldn't tell that he was holding up fingers for the longest time, you know? Right. I can't help him. Dr. Gebhardt insisted on coming along. But now he doesn't seem to be sure if that was a good idea. I think he wanted to stay with people. I don't think he wanted to split up. Are you okay, Doctor? Oh, of course. Why wouldn't I be? It's just that... Well, I would prefer to come with you. You heard the Inspector. Yeah, he doesn't want to be right, on his own. I'm off. Oh no, I'm not going on a manhunt all by myself. My dude, the whole point was to make sure we didn't miss him. Are you okay? Maybe you had better take a rest, in case the blow was more severe. I'm okay. This game's too dark for my life. Neither of my monitors Jenner. are dealing with the up darkness here. very well. Come on. I think it came from up there. Sure, you just wanted to get a breath of fresh air. Zelna, look who we have here. Well, if that's not our shadow. And our stowaway. Spend any time hiding in a trunk recently? Uh, me do, do nothing. He claims to be part of the crew. Just wanted to get some fresh air. Of course. Shutting off the sun? The Baroness won't open I the mean, door, the game's sir. definitely Understood. shut off the sun. Take him to the detention cell, Robert. Souls with him. You were right, there was a stolen. Yes, but he can't be the raven. Uh. He's too young. Right, but that doesn't mean that the raven isn't lurking here as well. What was that? A shot. It came from one of the cabins. This is getting super fucking action packed. Oh no! Oh no! Sack the blood! Baroness, Baroness! Open the door! <laughs> what even was that? Step aside, please. Is she dead? We have a murder on our hands, gentlemen. Hurry, Zelna. The murderer still has to be nearby. There is practically no one on deck. Anyone who's outside is a suspect. This time, we'll get him. I will not. I am going to faint. Zelna, are you okay? Yes. Come on. We have to. I also threw my Zelna. heart medication away. Zelna. Murder. This is like a hell of a cool little movie. I haven't had to do anything so far, guys. You know what? Ah, you're awake. Same. You did well, did you? I think the doctor killed her. I think she was just passed out. And then he went over and poisoned her. That's my running theory. And the only reason I'm going with that is because he's the bald man that looks really creepy. 
Like, that's literally it. That is my, my working out here. He creeped me out earlier on in the game. And therefore, he's a murderer now. He was also the guy that was, like, left on the ship. Not the ship. The, um, we're on the ship now. On the train. Remember? Like, he was just lurking about on the train. Yeah, on the train. Remember that? I like to sleep late when I take a cruise. While everyone else is hard at work. Blaming the Germany, he said. Agent 47 knockoff? Never. Never. Never in my life would I do that. It's because of the ice. He's creepy. I didn't pass out last night because of the blow to my head, did I? Seems unlikely. Inspector Legrand thinks you were drugged. But how? The champagne. Who gave you the glass of champagne? Hmm. Captain De Conti. No German ever done anything evil. Have you arrested anyone yet? You mean besides the Arab? He could hardly have committed the murder. You must have been with him when it happened. We heard the shot on the forecastle. I locked our friend in the detention cell in the cargo hold and then went up to assist Legrand. You were already sleeping the sleep of the just. Any other suspects? No. Seconds after the alarm went off, the decks were swarming with frightened passengers. Hmm. Yes. A there was no way to blood stay in this during the commotion. Whole hmm. thing. We still have our primary suspect, the Raven. You really think he's returned? Well, I think that no one knows as much about the Raven as Legrand. But still, it Oh, all do seems we think so Legrand incredible. is the Raven? Do we think Legrand is the Raven? And he's like pissed off that a murderer's trying to murder people in the name of the Raven? About the champagne. Shouldn't it be possible to find traces of the tranquilizer in the glass? That is exactly what Legrand is trying to do. Without a laboratory? Oh, he's got a lab. His cabin is packed with all the latest forensic stuff. It's quite impressive what the inspector can do. A competent man, no doubt. And surprisingly well prepared. And diligent. He's been at it all night with his brushes and tinctures and glasses and everything. Working like a man possessed. I wouldn't want to be the Raven now. What's the state of play? How was the Baroness killed? Uh, the Baroness was shot in the chest at close range. We'll know more once the doc finishes examining the body in the medical center. And no one saw anything suspicious? <laughs> no one saw a shadowy raven leaving the Baroness's cabin, if that's what you mean. A lot of people heard the gunshot. Inspector Legrand wants to question the passengers again this morning once they've all calmed down, and he's had a chance I to- I saw no evidence. bullet hole. Yeah, at least pronounce it like that. I suppose that you and Legrand inspected the crime scene and the surroundings. Of course, and we already hit the jackpot. The murder weapon. Really? The murder weapon. Where did you find it? In the bin. On the gangway. The gangway Folks. the board in the ship folds up and hooks onto the hull when it's not being used. The murderer probably wanted to throw the gun into the sea. He casually dropped it overboard. But it landed on the gangway. Bad. But Legrand and I were on the side deck right after the shot. There was no one there. Mm, maybe the murderer threw the gun away later. We recovered it in the early hours. Hmm. I think I'll look for Inspector Legrand now. Mm, do what you think's best. You won't get rid of me. I'm here to stay, Constable Oliver. Be that as it may, Inspector Legrand ordered me to guard the cargo hold with our special guest. That's fine by me. Inspector Legrand may be able to get by without sleep for days on end, but not me. It's not easy playing with the big boys, Constable Zelna. No, it certainly isn't. I mean, I'm doing a better job than you, my dude. Right. I hate doing this because I feel everything's going to crash again, but I need a good BRB, so I'm going to put you on a BRB screen. And I will be back in a moment, but I, I quickly need to go. Do you think the working title at any point of this game was the tit or the cock? I would be disappointed if it wasn't the cock at one point, but I'll be right back.
I'm back. Hey, Enrique, how's it going? How was games and TV last night? Sorry, the, the, the crash earlier was getting to me still. I needed to walk away and refocus myself. So I walked away and tried to refocus myself. Thank you. Hey, Dogma. An antique wooden globe. If Galileo hadn't asserted himself back then, this would be a flat disk now. Mmm. The cabin was sealed. I'm pretty sure the seal doesn't have any legal relevance here on the open um, sea, I... but I'm still dependent oh, oh. on Legrand How letting me join his team. I better not blow it by breaking his seal without permission. I want it. I want it. Hey, Woolsey. Hydrate. I can hydrate. Here's the hydrate. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well. Subtle pissy mood. Very fair. An alarm like this one was set off yesterday. Mm. This one hasn't been set off. The security seal is intact. You haven't been asleep yet. What time is it? Maybe you should sleep. Go to sleep. An evacuation plan? And some tips from the doctor for avoiding seasickness, sunburn and the like. And here, a schedule of activities. A drink with the captain, a shuffleboard competition on the forecastle. That's about it. A real barrel of fun. Come in. Hello, Dr. Gebhardt. It's 741. Go to bed. And you need sleep, next? my dude. Excuse me? You want something else from me, don't you? I'm afraid I do. What a first day at work. Well... What's the result of your examination of the victim? She's dead. I didn't make you work all night long, Dr. Gebhardt. <sighs> she was shot. Point-blank shot. Probably with a pistol. It seems like she was lying in bed. The shot struck her heart. She died immediately. One shot? More were unnecessary. And we only heard one shot, no? And there's just one entrance wound. Just one. I am told that I was drugged. That's how it seems. What can you tell me about it? Me? Why should that be my business? Haven't you analyzed the glass? No, I haven't. The inspector said he's the better chemist. I let him do it. That way I could at least concentrate on the body. Yeah, hiding the fact you killed her. I know he killed her. A hundred percent. Look at him. He's shifty. Do you think the Baroness might have been drugged? She was very tired and unsteady when Legrand and I saw her. Yeah, I heard about that. I must have just missed her in the saloon. And without having seen her myself, it is hard to make a diagnosis. Of course. Can you say something about her general health? She was quite overweight. And the butler said that she suffered from diabetes. Wait a minute, how many Despite entrances her, are there to the, visited a doctor for to several the years. dining hall or the bar? It happens more frequently than you might suppose. Some people are scared of doctors and pay with an early death. It is possible that the Baroness wouldn't have lived much longer anyway. Do you know whose glass I drank from? What do you mean? Captain de Conti handed me a glass of champagne. But where did he get it? I don't know. Did you ask him? I'm just asking because you were also in the saloon when the champagne was served. Yes, but I only entered the saloon a few seconds before you did. 
I didn't manage to get a drink myself. Which, in retrospect, is lucky. Ah, you're right about that. I'm... I'm so certain it's him. Guys, come on. Come on, tell me I'm wrong. He's just lying right now. Judging by our condition last night, I think it's safe to say it was more than one shot. I dreamt I stepped out of my truck for a second and someone pulled off in it with my gun and phone inside but keys in my pocket so after a few miles it shot off but by then they had already flipped it. So sounds like a dream. Have you already removed the bullet? Did Legrand send you? What is that Frenchman's problem? I already told you. I will get in touch as soon as I have it. That is also what I told the constable, who he kept sending all night long, once I finally got rid of Legrand himself. Did he look over your shoulder? He probably wanted to take the scalpel from my hand and hack away himself. How was it taking but him this, this long to get the bullet and out? I will not let amateurs interfere with my work. That's understandable. How much longer will it take? Ugh. I have just finished. Send my regards to His Majesty. Thanks. I think that's it for now. No. That is it for now, then, and later. I'm going to lie down for a few hours. Can you tell that to your boss? But... What happened to me then? Oh! Could I at least have the key? Absolutely not. But if we have to examine the victim again... Then the esteemed inspector knows where to find me. In my cabin. In bed. Good night, Constable Zerna. It's a day! Alright, this is the grounds. Oh my god, will you get off that corner? Zerna, walk straight! That is Legrand's cabin. How do you little spin? Come in. Ah, Zeln, are you ready? Good morning, Inspector Legrand. Why is everything foggy now? Uh, my head is pounding, but I think I'm okay. Chloral hydrate. Hmm? That's why you have a headache. I found traces of it in your champagne glass. What have you found out so far? The Baroness was shot in the chest at close range. We heard the shot. The murderer quickly fled the cabin and dropped the murder weapon over the railing later. A simple story so far. But why was her cabin door locked? Exactly. If the murderer wanted to make it seem like a suicide, he'd have shot her in the head and left the gun at the crime scene. And if it was murder, why did he go to all the trouble of locking the door from inside? And how did he manage that anyway? Especially since we arrived just a few seconds later and didn't see anyone near the cabin. Something doesn't make sense here. No, it doesn't, and it's driving me crazy. Did you find the murder weapon? On the gangway on the side of the ship. I suspect the murderer tried to drop it into the sea. He would have stood close to the railing to let it fall unseen. And since he doesn't know the ship, he had bad luck and dropped it right onto the gangway. Indeed. And do you find that probable? No. Not a bit. Neither do I. See, this is why we should be friends, my dude, and you didn't want me on this boat. What kind of a gun is it? A pistol. A Luger 08. Antique. Manufactured a million times during and after the First World War. Austrian model. The owner is David Kreutzer, the violinist. We found him tonight totally drunk on the bow of the ship. He confirmed that it's his gun, but he claims that it was stolen from him. Fingerprints? Nothing. But it's worth mentioning that the clip was missing two bullets. Hmm. And it's definitely the murder weapon. The ballistic tests are incomplete. Actually, I've been waiting far too long for the bullet recovered from the corpse. Pay the good doctor a visit, Zelna, and see that he does his I've job. already done it. About the bullet, here it is. Excellent. Give it to me. As I suspected, a 7.65 Parabellum Luger. 
Don't you want to examine it in more detail? When I have time. For now, though, we can assume that we have the murder weapon. There can't be too many antique Luger always pistols on board. May I take a look at the Baroness's cabin? We already searched it thoroughly. Sure. But what about now, by daylight? Yes, yes, fine, it can't hurt. Here, take this with you. Thanks. I'll let you know if I find anything important. But only then, please. I'm very busy. Of you look very busy. Do you believe the violinist? You boot up Steve Seuss, time peer pocket glasses, a cook to ready to become Spider-Man or Superman? Says he drank a bottle of I think he's the right he on the train, and he doesn't have an alibi. His drunkenness could be a smokescreen. He fits the profile, he travels a lot, has access to high society. Could be interesting. I mean, could be interesting. And this chloral hydrate is a tranquilizer. Can be dissolved in alcohol. The effect begins in minutes and lasts for hours. Who gave you the glass of champagne? I believe it was Captain De Conti. If believing were enough for us, we'd have become priests, Constable. Be a policeman and find out for sure. Wow. Understood. Wow. Okay. Okay. You think that the jewel thief is the murderer? Our friend would have needed another key to open the safe and steal the second eye. The one the Baroness was carrying. At least... That's what we imply. What do you mean? The Baroness was famous for her forgetfulness. I convinced her to give me the third key. It seems safer for the eye. The thief searches the Baroness's cabin looking for the third key. She returns from the saloon earlier than expected. Surprises him, and he can't allow her to identify him. He imprisons her until the coast is clear, and then shoots her. And thus, the thief becomes a murderer. But still doesn't have all the keys. Okay. Are you sure that there's no bomb inside this time? Professor Lucien locked it in front of an audience, and it will be open for the first time in Cairo. Let's hope so. It would take hours to crack it, and you'd need heavy machinery. Or the keys. Or the three keys, that's right. Do you think... Do you really think that the Raven is behind all this? He wrote the letter that was on the safe in the train. Without the letter, we wouldn't have opened the safe and the bomb wouldn't have exploded. But it doesn't seem like him, does it? The Raven was famous in part because he never hurt anyone, much less killed anyone during a burglary. It's his handwriting and he called me Nico. No one else does that. Hey, Fig. I chased that man across Europe for years. It is him. It has to be him. But the evidence... Enough. I'll be on my way. I want to find out who gave me the drug champagne. Good idea. Inspector Legrand, are you okay? Maybe you should take a break. He I doesn't want a break. Once I've caught the raven. Goodbye, Constable. Be seeing you. Tranquilize his ass. Tranquilize him. See, I think it was the doctor, and Legrand is the raven. Legrand is risking not just his career, but his health as well on his hunt for the raven. He's working like a demon. Maybe that's why he caught the raven and no one else. I feel like Legrand might be like, you know, the fireman syndrome thing. You know, when firemen join the fire brigade and start setting fires to be the hero? So I think... The Grand's Raven... And I don't believe the Baroness was shot, because we didn't see any blood or anything when we went into that room. I think she was drugged. And I think the doctor did it, and I think he finished her off properly when he went to check on her. You think your Swiss McDonald's employed constable is the murderer? It sounds like we're the raven. I know. To be fair, 
what I thought last time round was that we were the whatever, the Raven, but I'm starting to really feel like it might be Legrand himself. The seal's been broken, by the this way, is guys. This the first murder scene I've ever set foot in. Probably just bad design, but it was broken. Look, she was shot in the chest, and that's the only blood we've got. For some reason, I, don't, I just don't believe she was shot. And the doctor won't let us look at the body either. So how are we going to confirm that she was definitely shot? Well, I mean, I guess Legrand did probably see the body. A big, ugly, and impractical vase. If it had a wider opening, one could at least use it as an umbrella stand. All right, how are you today, Fig? How is Fictional Saturday mm, going? A tape recorder must go with the built-in speakers. Probably part of the cabin's furnishings. The tape recorder is older than the hills, but it was once very expensive. Top of the range, and it doesn't come cheap. Okay. There's still blood on the mattress. The sheet and the blankets have already been the removed. Night is young. To analyze them, I suppose. Oh, you see, War it's the one that's gonna have the good day today. The rest of us just have to have miserable days. Nothing. Look under the bed. There's something under the bed. Something's under there. Hmm. Down feathers. Maybe from a quilt or a pillow. Nothing special. Although, it seems like one of the feathers was scorched at the top. Literally burnt. Hmm. I'll take it with me. Okay. Apparently, the Baroness didn't have time to unpack her bags. Or rather, didn't have time to tell her butler to unpack them for her. Hmm. Sifting through all that would take ages. But here, the Baroness's handbag. Ha ha! Okay. A what? small leather-bound book. 1964. You're having a good day after you just woke up. This must be the Baroness's diary. Except for tax evading billionaires, they can rot in hell for I care. True, true. Let's see. Yes, it's a diary, all right. Difficult to read. No entry from yesterday. A brief. Sober description of what she's done recently. Met Morris. Arranged benefit concert for renovation of Louvre Southeastern Wing. Mm -hmm. Times photo shoot for Eye of Sphinx. BM. Poor excuse for photographer. Too fidgety. And so on. Hmm. This entry looks strange. The handwriting is shaky, difficult to read. Dreamt of Bobby. Yesterday would have been his birthday. Next week, Jay's. Hmm. The portholes face the side deck. If someone climbed out of the cabin through a porthole, Legrand and I would have seen them. When you evade taxes as a billionaire, if you make enough to care, continent of people alone, what do you have to set bend it all on? For a period, hey, buddy! 
She could have been. Permanent. No, I thought maybe that book. The mannequin surely came with the cabin. A mannequin for the Baroness's clothes would have. I hope you're having a, a good Saturday, Bardy. Hmm. The notepad has the ship's emblem on it. I suppose all the first class cabins have them. Oh, and the pencil. What is this? Why is this bullshit? Why is this like. <laughs> My pencil is just not. Oh, yeah. It says, Inspector, be in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board, and I will expose him. 100% be the doctor. The Baroness seems to have known the murderer. And that means that the Raven can't be the murderer. He never killed anybody. The Grand probably never got the message. Otherwise, he'd have said something. The most unportable portmanteau I've ever seen. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point. The seal is broken. But there's no way of telling whether it happened yesterday or five years ago. Okay, going in here. A portable bar is more like it. Must be hard work transporting this big, heavy thing halfway around the globe. And the Baroness was lucky that the other freight cars were only lightly damaged by the explosion. An impressive piece. But I don't think it'll get me anywhere with the murder okay. investigations. I think... Oh no, there was some one more thing. Oh my god, how do I... Where, where do I have to stand for that? There you go. No! There you go. Hmm. There should be a ventilation shaft behind the hatch. Usually a good way to break in and out undetected. But we run a ship. The ventilation shafts are very small here. I can't say why, and it seems impossible, but something tells me that the murderer entered and left the cabin through the door. The only question is how. Wait, what do you mean by he's your six percent of Croatia? He's not Croatian. He's barely human. We all know he's a whale. Sunflowers. By Van Gogh, I presume. He liked to paint that sort of thing. Can't be an original. They cost thousands of francs. Enter to the door, how or the door? He couldn't have come through the door though. There was a police. Oh, actually, no, the peace officer did actually. The police officer did leave, so he could have come in through the door. Oh, here's the butler. The Baroness's butler looks like he didn't get much sleep. But you I would barely describe human. his facial expression <laughs> as worried. Hello, Mr. Inch. Oh, I just realized oh, my, um... Hello. You look the worse for wear. My PNG crashed in the big crash. You. you don't have terrible. my PNG no back up. Maybe it was uh, my PNG that me. actually caused my the crash. was murdered. Would you hire a butler who's been mixed up in a murder? But if it turns out that you're not guilty... If, but what? If not, who else would they blame? There are no gardeners on this ship. <laughs> I understand your problem. Under these circumstances, I'm sure you'd answer some questions that could help clear your name, wouldn't you? Of course. Did you notice anything suspicious last night? No, sir. After the Baroness went to the saloon, I went to the folk song. I was there until the alarm went off. 
I went to the side deck and arrived shortly after Professor Lucy Why does Scottish ask him for more details? Wait, what? You were unconscious and the inspector asked us to take care of you. I've missed something. What? Right, what did I miss? So, someone please explain. Give me a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna DM him for context. We all know Shin is very sparse and dodgy with details. I would not trust him at all. He is Croatian after all. Produced Scotland and Wales a while ago? Did he? Well, I've DM'd him. He's internally confused. That is true. Did you hear the gunshot? No. I'm confused Just now. I am arms, very confused. Sir. You said you were on the forecastle. It sounded like the Baroness let you have the rest of the night off. Not entirely, sir. One of the crew informed me that the Baroness wanted to be roused at quarter to ten. Right. Why was that? I suppose oh, I called him out. She oh. to toast the success of the journey with oh. the captain and the other well, passengers. Well, I've completely forgotten she this. If I forget, I've completely forgotten then. about that this, then Lyle's probably 200% forgotten about spirit, it. Shall we say, when it came to social engagements and a glass or two of champagne. If I can't remember something, he's definitely not going to remember it. Me and Ward are the only ones who remember. I remember he once said that Scotland wasn't part of Britain, and I tried to tell him that Scotland is a part of Britain about five times, and he ignored me. I remember that. That was in his stream, though. The Baroness's cabin seems to have been ransacked. Indeed, sir, by the Baroness herself. Really? She was searching for something the entire afternoon. And did she find it? I think she did, sir, yes. She was well, she remember things for a long time, Candle? No, 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 no. What, you you're thinking about the wrong fat animal. For, That's an elephant. I'm afraid not. There's a difference between Scotland and Wales. I thought you were all the same. Ah. Oh, so hello, Lyle. How was your Saturday going? Yes, Scottish people get drunk more often than Welsh people. From what I know, Welsh people spend more time doing coke. From what... Ca not Candle. I just saw Candle's name. Let's begin with it, okay, though. Kudu said... Part of Britain, not part of England. See, Bardi's got it. Bardi's got it. Can't understand them unless it's written. Leo, you do know that Scots write in Scot, right? They write as they speak. You're not gonna understand what they say one way or the other. Oh, we lost Bardi for 72 seconds. Rip Bardi. Would you describe the Baroness as orderly? Uh, well, she... She always had a lot of responsibilities, sir. That doesn't answer my question. She used to take a lot of luggage on journeys, and I helped her keep track of it as best I could. She was always very angry when she couldn't find something. What about the photos and the documents I saw in her cabin? I really don't know. I understand know. most they of everyone of present, so I assume you all must be Scottish. From the war, I'd say. They meant a lot to her. I see you're in a better mood today, then. I see Leo's back to being a happy man. The Baroness Not seemed even to be insulted. pretty drunk the last time I saw her. Is that so? Does that surprise you? 
Did the Baroness not drink? Oh, yes, she drank. It was no secret. I understand. Uh, how serious was her Welcome habit? back. Serious enough, sir. You don't have was your GPU, so I'm not happy. Certainly not, sir. She adamantly refused to see a doctor. Like so many elderly women, she had a distinct aversion to hospitals and the like. I actually know I actually know why that is, at least in the UK. Because so many old people die in hospitals. In the UK especially, they are so terrified of going into a hospital because they know that, you know, there's a likelihood they won't come out of them. And they fear that doctors and nurses actually genuinely will, you know, be the reason why they die. It, it's like a proper thing in the UK. It's why, because I, 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 we had this discussion with a doctor when my nan was really ill because like, the whole thing with her dementia was we weren't allowed to put her in the hospital if she had a fall and stuff we had to call paramedics and they had to look after her at the house because when she went into the hospital she got very ill because of the dementia and being like in a completely different place with a lot of people and a lot of noise and the doctor explained that a lot of people especially especially when you know they've got things like dementia will hate the thought of doctors and hospitals because they just they just know that that's pretty much you know the end of their life coming up because of other complications so bigger chances of dying in a hospital yep exactly you heard dogmas and nurses Oh, I think it's not so much they think they're better off on their own. They know that there's a possibility they're going to die anyway and would rather die at peace at home than go to a medical facility and die somewhere possibly alone in a sterile area with a lot of strangers poking them. It's about dignity rather than, you know, they think they're going to get better. They usually think they're not going to get better, so they just hold it off. Not sure anyone dreams of dying in a hospital. When you're young, you don't think about it as often, though. If you go to hospital, you think you're going to get better. When you're older, any trip to anywhere could be your last. How long had you worked for the Baroness? My six nan months, was absolutely sir. terrified of hospitals. I always thought and you, you, you wouldn't be surprised to learn that she died because my cousin put her in a hospital. And she had a bit of a, you know, moment. And she never got better from it. His duties any longer. Gout, hey, sir. ABC, how's I Max? I How are you and Max today? And hoped for a secure position for the next 20 years. Also, I've literally sat here and talked about elderly people in hospitals. I haven't got around to replying to Leo and saying, you can't be happy without a GPU, you know, Leo. You, you can't be, you can't be good without a GPU. Thanks for giving me an existential crisis about traveling later on. You're welcome, Warded. You're welcome. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, if you survive wells, you'll survive anything. With your floating chairs and tables that attack you, and rain, and according to Kudu, a lot of cokeheads. You played with Max in a cleaning room? Alright, Barty, thanks for popping in. I hope the trip to the store goes well. Don't die. Please don't die. <laughs> Everyone traveling today, don't die. Just to prove me right. <laughs> Please don't die. Trying to buy, he was running after it, trying to buy it. Scooby is a full grown dog and he still kind of does that with a hoover. But he doesn't like, now he doesn't quite bite it. Like he is a, he is from a working dog um, breed. Like his, his mum and his dad were working dogs. He's a border collie, so. His mum and his dad were actual sheepdogs on a farm. So, like, it's kind of... When he was a puppy, he was out in the fields a little bit with the sheep and stuff. And it seems to have just stuck with him to herd things. So he tries to herd, I think, the, the hoover where he thinks it should be going. It's really cute. I mean, for sure. But counterpoint, I don't have a GPU and I'm unhappy. Please be happy. 
Please, everyone, be happy. I'd rather you all were happy. I'm sad to see you hear that, Leo, because you, you've been kind of up and down with being happy and not happy all week. I was hoping you'd have a good weekend. What's that? You thought you were going to go to Bingo Oak Lake? You know, you've been gone. All right. Who is free after stream today? Who is free to do stuff after stream? Stealing my line from earlier? What, me? You just said you wished everyone could have a good day. I'm just saying, I'm just backing that up. I hope you're all happy. May I ask what happened to your arm? A I'm also sorry, I'm getting distracted wars, because I'm trying to take my mind off of my panic attack yes, that is building up in I me because of OBS. The Baroness had a soft spot. I'm just trying to forget about it. Veterans. I think she so I'm getting distracted. Herself. I think that's all for now. Please, sir, find the murderer. You have to clear me of all suspicion. All right. This is what's going to practice with me right now. All right. If you're around with Air Fictional, what I'll do is later on, we will watch an episode of The Mighty Boosh. I believe it's called Nanageddon. It's kind of topical. It's kind of topical. I need some comfort tonight. I've had, well, maybe not as stressful a week as Fix the had, but I've definitely had a stressful week, and it's not getting any Earth's better. The surface is covered by water. Looking out the window, I'd call that an understatement. I really could have done without my stream crashing today. <laughs> oh, I got a nice breeze though. I have been happier because I've been able to wear my hoodie this week because it's cold in the UK right now. I know, shock horror, or at least my part of the UK. We've been getting a lot of sea... rainy climate shit going, so... Lady Westmacott seems to be an early bird, but maybe that's just because of all the excitement. I saw a twinkle in her eye on the train. She's eager to be part of a real like detective you are cold story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have hot one. I think to be fair, we're all lucky. We don't have the weather trying to kill us like Leo did on Wednesday. You ended up going out early and getting rather soggy. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Fucking Lady soggy Westman whales. Cut. Already on your... F oh. Constable. Don't you think before you speak? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No time for chit-chat. What have you found out? We're still working on the case. Actually, I have a couple of questions for you. Please, go ahead. What did you think of our adventure on the train? Oh, An Vic, I never sent you something story, here. Isn't it? I'm glad that You're you about the only person I forgot to send it to. Me. Hopefully not for the last time. I'm glad that everything ended well. I want to thank you sincerely for taking care of Matthew. Who's Matthew? All oh, the kids. to think about something happening to him. It all worked out in the end. Will you be that sympathetic? Not gonna lie, I was lying in bed this morning, so I woke up. All right, this stream is gonna be very distracted. If you guys want me to play something else that you know it doesn't matter that I'm distracted, let me know because I might be very distracted today because I need to take my mind. Like that that crash really got in my head, and I'm not I'm not gonna lie, it's very very difficult to shake it off at the minute. So if you want me to change to something else, I can. But um, golf. We're doing golf tomorrow. Um, what was I gonna say? I was lying in bed today. I woke up. I saw there's a new trailer for One Piece. I was very excited. I've seen the the, the 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 pictures of all the people. Let me have a look. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. I'm excited. This is how excited I am. I'm stopping my stream for two seconds to talk about One Piece, guys. Look at this. All right, let's let's look at this. Look at this. Look at this cast. Look how perfect they look. So if you don't know, 
in your top left hand corner you've got shanks and baby luffy then next to that you've got the crew that's arlong park as well that they're in you can tell by the fish you know and the fact that nami's wearing luffy's hat which only happens during arlong then the second one down on the left is goldie roger look at him and i was watching beforehand i was watching um what's he called Grand Line Reviews talk about it and he pointed something out that when a D dies, they always smile, but you could not physically put a D smile on a human face. So this is like the best you can do for a D smile. That will make sense to people who know One Piece. It doesn't make sense to anyone else. But that's Goldie Roger, the guy who actually starts everything off by dying. And then the one next to him is Mihawk. Look at Mihawk. Look at Mihawk. Guys, look at me, Hulk! And we don't know what he's meant to look like! This might not be the best idea, going through things. That's what he's meant to look like! Look at him! He's perfect! If you want Goldie Rogers out, Goldie Roger. So yeah, that's Roger. And then that's meant to be Gar. I am not gonna Google Garp right now because Garp is in the chapters at the minute and I don't want a spoiler to accidentally pop up maybe. So I won't show Garp. But then that's that Arlong in the bottom, the fishman. So... Doo -doo. Do, 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 This guy. He's not grey enough. What, Gar? Well, I mean, this is from, um, Roger's execution anyway. So he's actually too grey for this. Th this is from when Roger was executed. So he's actually... He should have had darker hair than he's got. You're only picking? I mean, you're wrong. But you're also right in a different way. He should actually have just black hair here. He's not gray enough, his skin? Whose skin? There's no surgically modified to look like one, Fishman. Ah, uh, yeah, he is kind of purple. I don't really care about him, though. I don't, I don't really care about Arlong. The Fishmen all look kind of weird. I don't mind it so much, but they do kind of all look very weird. I, I, it's the, probably the hardest thing they had to make was the Fishman. His name's Arlong. Arlong. I'm pretty excited. We will be watching One Piece together when it comes out. Um, August 31st. So if people want to watch it, we'll be doing the watch along together. You know? Because, because I'm excited. I'm very excited. And I need to share my love of One Piece with people. Oh, wait a minute, my sister is now phoning me. Hello. Alright. Um...
You're in silence? There's no music. What are you talking about? Sorry, my, my niece called because her laptop's broken. And they want me to fix it over the phone. And I'm like, I can't, I can't fix things over the phone. This is just how today's gonna go, guys. Nothing's gonna go right. I should just stop streaming. I should just start, stop streaming. This, this is becoming a bit of a nightmare. Do you think that the thief from the train and the murderer are the same person? I think the new Raven is capable of anything. Legrand believes there is no new Raven. He thinks that the old one has returned. 24 hours stream? It's possible. Everyone thinks he's dead. As a dramatist, the return of the Raven would certainly be delightful. A legend comes back from the grave for one last job. It's quite romantic. At the same time, though, I'd be disappointed. Why is that? I followed the Raven's career. I feel bad because I was really there looking forward to this, and now I'm not paying any attention to charm. His burglaries were guys. clever and entertaining, but he was sloppy in London. He almost got caught, and I'll never forgive him for the affair on the train. No, I would much rather that the Raven stayed dead and had nothing to do with the burglary or the murder. Because you're going for breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, it's because you and Warrior are leaving me. That's what it is. I can't just survive on fictional's love. I need everyone's love. I need everyone's love and attention 24-7. What do you think? Who is our suspect? Now, I've just Everyone had a, I've just had another weird week. Everyone. I wouldn't even call it Everyone necessarily a bad week, just a weird one. Someone. But who has the dark desire to take the life of a And I'm very, very person. stressed at the one minute. cannot read minds. <laughs> it and just feels like today's going to be a you clusterfuck. You have to evidence, traces, clues. That's what will lead us to the killer. It won't be like a bad crime novel, in which they introduce a new character shortly before the end, who, surprise, surprise, is also the murderer. I think it's the doctor. Murderers leave evidence. They're nervous or unnaturally relaxed. They have to adjust constantly. And because of that, they make mistakes. This is your chance, Constable. If you find the mistake, you'll find That's the murderer. That's true. That is true. And they have left the mistake. They left the pillow fluff that I've got. Have you noticed anything related to the I'm murder? only joking, Doctor. I'm only joking. Not. I was already in my cabin and missed all the commotion. Damnable old age. You're telling I'm me. happy people oh, get to go out and spend young. time with their family and age, stuff. I've spent a lot of this week with my mum, to be fair. Anymore. And although I've, I've tried to stay out of my so bedroom times, most of the time and hang I've out with my mum. We've been playing I Dragon Age together. Is so relaxed in such a situation. Heartless is the word you're searching for, right, Constable? I certainly didn't want the Baroness to be murdered. But if I can't undo it, then I might as well enjoy it. What do you think of Inspector Legrand? He seems to be as skilled as everyone says. Intelligent, focused. We I bathed with him yesterday, um, and he impressed me. But eyebrows as well on Thursday. Eyes. I don't think he ever really stopped hunting the Raven. Catching the Raven made him famous. Yeah, me, Sean, and Raven did some grounded on Thursday. Unjustified fame bothers people, the good ones at least. I'm sorry I couldn't and make you stream, Dogma. I was in such a bad mood. So hard to tear down and other than hanging out with Sean, I literally wasn't on my computer. I have to be going. I spend the day with my mom, Please then I come upstairs and course. I kept my computer well my computer was on in the background, but I was reading. I I'm sorry. I, I actually did, to be fair. I snuck in when you were playing inscription for a bit. I watched you play inscription for a little bit. I'm I'm doing a bad job of keeping up with what's going on. Oh great, the game's broke as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. Captain DeConti is sitting at the bar again. He gave me the glass of champagne last night. Alright, so... I lie. There is another way that the doctor could have came in to the bar. So he wasn't lying to me. 
Maybe. He might not have been lying to me. He still could be lying to me. So, let, let's... Let's get our game faces on, shall we? Let's get back to the game. So, the Baroness was shot. I don't believe she was shot. As I said before, I believe she was drugged. And then the guy got into the cabin. Because, like, don't you... Don't you hold a gun to a pillow to muffle the sh the sh um, sound? Like, make it kind of like a silencer? It wouldn't have been as loud if he shot through a pillow, right? Right. So, even if she was shot, it wasn't when we think she was shot. I don't believe. But then that doesn't mean it would be the Doctor. I do believe the Doctor is kind of in on it, though. I'm also convinced me or Legrand is the Raven. I'm just convinced. I was convinced last week, like Thick is, that it was us. But this week, I'm kind of going towards Legrand. I think... I think the Doctor killed her because she knows that he did something, right? So she was gonna tell people that there was a murderer on board. And I think that is gonna be the doctor, but I think it's gonna be a misunderstanding because he's a doctor, right? And at this point, like this is the sixties, he's kind of like in his forties or fifties. He's going to have been around at the end of the war and stuff. Like, I'm not I'm not going to say he was a Nazi or anything like that. But I feel like they're going to lean into the fact that German doctor around the 50s, 40s, 60s might have been up to some no good. I think that's, that's just going to be the tro trope they go for. I just feel it. And she was going to announce that he was a murderer. But it might not be, like, as it seems. Like, it might be a misunderstanding, but I feel like he might have killed her with drugs and then maybe shot her afterwards to uh, make it look like a murder. Because there was not enough blood for that to be a murder scene. You know, there's not enough blood there for that to be a murder scene. I don't even care if there's no, you know, exit wound. I just feel there would be more blood than a tiny little speck, especially when you're moving a body that, you know, was shot. I just feel like there would be more blood. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. A red herring, a red herring. I don't think the Baroness's murder has anything to do with the Raven, though. That's what I'm going with. I feel the theft of the Sphinx's eye and the murder are two completely different things. That's where I'm going. Hello, Captain De Conti. Hey, Constable Zen. You're back on your feet again. I am back Glad on my feet see. again. What was your experience of last night? Oh, terrible. Dinner was fantastic. Was fantastic. excited about having a I can do a Gino de Campo. And then this. I've watched Gino de Campo long enough in my life. Yes, the captain. I have to care for my passengers. After you and the others rushed out, I tried to maintain a festive atmosphere. <laughs> but when the alarm it goes off, I lose the battle. <laughs> I lose the battle. All right, maybe I should stop being racist towards Italians right now. How was the Baroness? <laughs> she maybe we should leave the Italians alone. After she was so unapproachable at the reception and didn't show her face for the entire afternoon, I was afraid she was one of the boars and bourgeoisie. I'm but Italian, then she I arrived approve. in the early evening in the best of moods. Already had a few, if you know oh, what What a I mistake mean. to make her. Did she say anything to you? She asked me where Legrand's cabin was. I told her, then invited her to come for drinks in the evening. I said it would be great fun. The whole ship will be there, and you don't want to miss that. I told her. And then Still want to know why is this idea. whole party thing at 10 p.m.? 10 p.m. seems like a very evening. late time for old people to be partying. We drank a toast to life. But at some point, she didn't feel well anymore. She overdid it. Just a little bit. She suddenly started to swoon. 
almost spilled her drink. I asked her if she wanted to rest for a moment in her cabin. At first, she didn't want to. She definitely wanted to stay in the saloon. But then... He doesn't have a dead chicken on really his head! To lie down. We left uh... You know the rest of the story. I bet you his whole crew is made out of... Ex-prisoners that have just come out of prison to man the ship. Did everyone drink from the same bottle? I had to think about what it was called then. There was more than one bottle, if that's what you mean. There were quite a few guests, and the event lasted several hours. The last bottle of champagne. I know, hello, was Baroness one of the fucking drink greatest comedy Did shows ever made. Drink from it? No one could change Certainly. my mind on the that. Fucking amazing that show. The champagne was drugged. Incredible. But what's he called? Oh, what was he called? The British, the British, the British officer that was pretending to be a fucking... Is it Crabtree? On a night like that, many glasses are filled and empty. There are several stewards, many guests. No one keeps track of every glass and every bottle. A few drops in a glass? Yes, it's certainly Good possible. moaning, yes. There doesn't seem to be that many people on it. The on the ship you that is. Last night. Where did you get it? Ah, uh, I understand. I watched Choir the other night. I watched the one. Kenneth Branagh did you one. Pour it yourself? No. Murder in the Orient Express. The one with Johnny Depp in it. Rescue the situation. I took the first available glass and I give it to you. Why I give it to you? No, I hurry over to you. Together, together with, with Dr. Dr. Gerhardt, who, who, of course, of course, he had the glass in his hand. He was looking around for a place to set it down, so that he could examine you. I took it from him. And gave it to me. I'd like to apologize for that, but you look so worse for the wear. Yeah, the, the new one. comfort you. Kenneth Brother made a reboot. For a new glass for you. Hmm. So the As doctor Johnny Dab, had the Dane, glass um, in his hand. Judy Dench, Kira Knightley, I believe. Yeah, it is Kiera Knightley in that one. Um, Josh, Josh Gad, I think. I think that's who I'm thinking of. Um, is it Willem Dafoe as well? Lots of big names. That isn't even the last one. Kenneth Branagh then did, also did Death on the Nile, which has Gal Gadot in it, or whatever her name is. I don't remember her surname. Wonder Woman. And now you park away on your sister. What are you having for, um... What are you having for breakfast? Do you know yet, Dogma? Is it possible to find out where the alarm you was You didn't realize Johnny Depp was I'm in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's there in it. alarms all over this ship. He in it. I saw that they're sealed. He's not in it for Can't long. Can't you just check whether the seal well, is that, broken? that's kind of a spoiler. I'm afraid they're gonna be I'm sorry. You He's know, definitely in it. Go on, Waffle House, nice. Years. So, you're saying that the alarms haven't been regularly maintained? I'll inform the crew immediately, of course. Of course. What can you tell me about the passengers? Do, do, do. Oh, do, do, do. not that much, I'm afraid. Do, 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 do. I wanted to do, do, get another properly at the reception. Do, 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 do. In most cases, do, do, do. I just shook hands with them as they boarded the ship. Do, 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 do. There are a few regulars on board, and after dinner, I had a conversation with Mr. Kreutzer, a talented violinist, and Lady Westmacott. But you already know them from the train. It seems like there aren't that many passengers on board. These bloody airplanes are making our lives miserable. Oh, is it Daisy Ridley? Grown men prefer to Probably. jam themselves into a narrow metal coffin instead of... Here and I be Daisy Ridley and the other sheet. one all, all look the same to me. Time. Like, literally it all three of them could be fucking triplets. To get from to me. But about how you spend that time. What do you experience on the journey? That's that other one being the one that actually did play basically her now. twin in the Star Wars movies. Is it Naomi something? I can't remember her name. I like her as well. Oh, what's her name? It's not Naomi, is it? Fuck, I don't even like Kiera Knightley. Natalie Portman, that's the one! The alcoholic drinks and everything that goes with them is top Interchangeable Emma's, yeah, pretty much. 
Nothing against them. They're Fresh all great actresses. They just all literally could be triplets. They could be useful. Constable Zelda. What, what is, is the, the meaning, meaning of this? Of this? Are even the police light-fingered nowadays? I need this tool for a criminal investigation. Well, then, why didn't you say so? But bring the tongs back when you're done. Otherwise, I'll have cold fingers all day. <laughs> why don't you have a spare set of tongs? Yeah, you know, my dude? I can't go behind. I wanted to go behind the thing. Hey, Barry, Perry and Zoe Deschanel. I need to have a look at them side by side. I know what they both look like, but I'm How troubling wonderful. picturing it. Sunshine I want to look the at them side by side. The Mediterranean sea. But that might be it because be I remember a, 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 a like specific Zoe Deschanel. Like, just a specific version of her I have in my head. I know she doesn't actually look like that when she's not like playing characters and stuff. I know it's surprising what she looks like when she's like not done up for movies and all that. Big soft towels. I could reserve a deck chair with it. I just no, kind of remember her not. from, is it the Offspring music video she was in? I'm pretty sure she was in an Offspring music video. These things meant quite a racket last night. I couldn't hear myself think. Well, that was probably the concussion, my dude. Go give her the graduation, give my wife a ball for her. Did Edison have any idea what would become of his invention? I'd really like to lie in the sun and take a nap. Let's but have I don't an app, have then. time for that at the moment. No, Jacob. Business before pleasure. <laughs> no, Jacob. No, Jacob. You can't do that. <laughs> I will forgive you. Can I not? Wait, can I not go up the stairs? Like, literally over here. Oh, they're probably blocked off like these ones. I don't know why. I don't know why I seem to think it would be any different on that side than it is on this side. Curious. One can easily toss a gun into the sea from almost anywhere on the ship oh, without being noticed. Oh, and yet, the murderer chose the one spot where it's not actually possible. I suppose the life jackets are stowed there, close to the railing, close at hand in case of emergency. Okay. It may not seem like it, but Constable Oliver is actually a very effective watchman. <clears throat> but, uh, uh, what's going on? The raven just flew by. What? Or at least, he might as well have. Uh, I wasn't asleep. I understand. It I'm was pretty sure he told moves. us he was going to have a nap. I'm pretty sure he was like, well, Lestrade might, or Legrand might not need to sleep, but I need to sleep, and then wandered off to have a nap. Any conclusions about our young stowaway? Yeah, I know it's been an hour and 40 minutes ago, but I'm pretty sure that's what's I happened. See. Did he act suspiciously in any way? No. The shot surprised him as much as it did me. Looked in on him earlier. Still seems to be asleep. Covered with a blanket from head to toe? Oh, oh. he's still in there. I poked him. May I go downstairs and have a couple of words with our guest? No, you may not. Come again? Inspector Legrand wants to conduct all the interrogations himself. I'm sure he'll understand if I form my own conclusions. He ordered me to guard the door, and that's just what I'm going to do. How about a bit of individual initiative? How about letting a man do his job? Or do you think you'd be better at it? Yeah, I wouldn't be asleep for a star. What do you think? What happened here last night? The raven broke into the baroness's cabin, she surprised him, and he shot her. What was he looking for in her cabin? She was a rich woman. He didn't want to steal her purse. He wanted the third key. Mm. 
So Legrand also told you about that. Why did he lock the door? <laughs> Why not? From inside? An impressive trick. I'm not saying I know how he did it. I'm just saying that it was him. Why didn't he leave a raven feather? Are you serious? We'd have suspected him straight away. But fortunately, we still did. Yeah, you make no sense, my dude. Oh, could be anyone. No one's ever seen the raven. He could also be paying someone else to do his dirty work. But of course. It's a fact that he used to work with partners. They even arrested some of his accomplices. But no one could ever identify the raven himself. Some claims that they didn't even know that they were working for him. Fascinating. He could have hired someone with financial difficulties to set off the alarm at a certain time without that person knowing why they were doing it. The man oh, it could be the kid! Then, he was a famous safecracker. He could just as well have been a henchman. Or the real raven. There's probably no better cover for a big thief than acting like a small one. I don't want to keep you from your duties any longer. Good idea. Constable Oliver brought something to drink. You can tell it's not the first time he's had to guard something. The smell of burnt popcorn is getting stronger. Isn't that a sign of a stroke? I wonder if this game is an advanced version of Bocce. Maybe the inventor realized that it's difficult to play ball games on a boat and came up with an alternative. Salty sea air in my old lungs, wind in my thinning hair. If I hadn't become a policeman, I could have been a sailor. I don't think so. I'd be tough if I were you, Dogma. This could have been your last outing. God, I keep pressing the button. We were here yesterday when we heard the shot, and it was also here where Legrand caught our stowaway. Hmm. Why is there an axe hanging here? Hmm. I suppose it's for chopping through ropes in the event that the lifeboats can't be lowered. Or they use it to enforce who's allowed on the boat and who's not. Hmm. A boat like this would also make a good hideout for a stowaway. Were the tarpaulins arranged like that on purpose so that no one could put them back in order once they get in? You can tell at a glance that everything is ship shape with this boat. Can you? Apparently so. He will not look at it anymore. He like suspects everything in the world other than the most obvious thing. The grate must be part of the ship's ventilation system. Nothing out of the ordinary. This isn't a panoramic deck for visitors. There are pipes, steel cables, chains up here. You can smell the smoke from the funnel. I have no idea how the ship works, and I really don't care as long as it stays afloat. Oh, Pick, that was a really cool game that I saw um, me and Dallas play last night. It's not out yet. The grate shouldn't be so easy to open. Did the stowaway open it and we caught him in the act? Hmm. No. The pipe is too narrow. It's like a four-player game as well, so we could get Ave here on it. I guess the here. cover has been defective for a while. 
I could inform the captain that the grid has to be repaired. But if I start reporting all the problems on the ship, I'd have to shelve my murder investigation. I want to know how often people actually think about something they don't care about. I think about War Italy every day and I don't care about him. The <laughs> ship's bridge. Two Got him. One of them navigating. I get the impression that the officers keep things running. It seems like the captain concentrates on the passengers and the bar. Horses in the park. There's dirt piled up in the corner. Down below where the passengers are, the ship is pretty clean. But the crew doesn't seem to care as much up here. <laughs> what a shock. Fucking got him. Uh, he definitely looks like the he's done something. His mistress doesn't really bother Inch. He's only worried about his own future. I mean, that's fair enough. She was very rude to him. Is there anything? No. Come in. I wonder why it's so misty downstairs. About the tranquilizer. Who gave you the glass of champagne? It was Captain De Conti. You're sure? He doesn't deny it, but he also says that the glasses passed through many hands that night and that everyone had access to the champagne. So it could have been anyone. Maybe the question isn't who put the poison in the glass, but rather who, the who it was, was they wanted to poison. Smart. And who were they trying to poison? Dr. Gebhardt? The captain got the glass from him. Hmm. An unconscious ship's doctor. That sounds like it would be more used to a murderer than a drugged constable. You think so? Did the murderer have reason to assume that his shot might not kill the victim immediately and, and that Dr. Gebhardt would be able to save her? You're right. That's improbable. <laughs> My ego is just searching for reasons for them to want to kill her and not me. Good job, Zelma. I found feathers in the Baroness's cabin. Really? Yes, under her bed. I hope this is leading up to some information that justifies this interruption. Some of the feathers are singed. Hmm, show me. Well, you may have something here. I think that someone fired a shot through a pillow or something like that, and the muzzle flash scorched the down. Yes, possible. Try to find the pillow and we'll take it from there. Right, we gotta find the pillow. I was able to make the traces of a note on the Baroness's notepad legible. She wrote that a murderer is on board and that she'll unmask him. She asks the recipient to meet her in the saloon at 10 p.m. If we can find the recipient. I was the recipient. Monsieur? When I entered my cabin last night, I found a message on the floor. Someone must have slipped it under the door. Why didn't you say anything about it? I didn't know that I was obliged to. We are partners. Not really. You're helping me out until we reach Cairo, because you somehow managed to remain on board. But Look, I got hit I'll over the choose head. when and with whom I share information. You can accept that and continue assisting me, or you can spend the rest of the journey on a deck chair thinking about missed opportunities. And none of this is by any chance related to the fact that the message doesn't suit your raven theory. The Baroness knew the murderer from the past, and he was already a murderer when he boarded the ship. The Raven was always just a thief, not a murderer. Careful, Constable. Are you accusing me of perverting the facts? Yes. Of course not, Monsieur. 
You were perfect then let's at get the back box. To work. Good day, Constable. I'll be in touch if I uncover more clues. Very you have to pervert the facts, because look at your ass, you don't have one. Uh... Okay, I wanted to actually examine the hallway. Which apparently I can't do. There. I'm not paying for this trip, and that's a fair price for my cabin. It's rather... plain, shall we say. No, I've slept enough. Neither Dr. Gebhardt nor Constable Oliver can keep up with Legrand's pace, but in contrast to good old Robert, the doctor doesn't let himself get roped in for the long haul. I wonder what would happen if Legrand dragged him out of bed for another investigation. We just do that then? I better not bother him until I have something new to report. He seems too stressed to tolerate disturbances. Uh, I I wanted said that I am very impressed with his boobs. For a man with such a bust, they don't jiggle. A model of the Lydia before it was rebuilt. It used to be a freighter. The wide hallways, the cabins, and the saloon were added later. They're fake hearted boobs of steel. A pitiful attempt to make the interior of the ship seem less dreary. A bit of paint on the walls would have helped more, especially since a plant won't survive long without daylight. I actually like the color of the ship. I think it's painted nicely. Alright, let's see. Cosmetics, a handkerchief, a spectacles case, nothing special. Nothing special? The Baroness was a very busy woman, and it looks like she had to cope with loss. She writes about Bubby and Jay. Neither seem to be alive anymore. Almost every family lost loved ones in the war. Maybe hers as well. I'll leave it there. I don't have time to read all of it. Outside, isn't that right? The blood spot is the only sign that someone committed a crime in here. Hmm. Somehow. That's odd. The blood is so red. Shouldn't it gradually darken in the air? Turn brown? Lick it. The unusual color of the blood could be something that Legrand and Dr. Gebhardt missed last night. All cats are gray in the dark, as the saying goes. Thank you for the hydrate, I ABC. I should take a sample. The unusual color of the blood... All cat... Did I take a sample? Oh my the god! Unusual... All... I wish I would stop pressing that button. Strange. There's only one wheel. And it's the wrong one. No. No sign of the original reel. A reel made by Zeibling. I know the brand. Zeibling's tapes can be overwritten many times without losing quality. They're used in offices so that executives can record messages for the secretaries on the same tape over and over again. But they're not good for much else. They're robust, but they don't offer much in terms of sound quality. Uh. Hmm. Can't see anything. 
Wow, heavier than it looks. Aha! Maybe the tongs? No. Why were the down feathers tossed in the grass? Or is there anything else in there? There may be something else in the vase, but the neck is too narrow to reach in with my hand. I will, I will do my weights in a second. Good work. There's something in there. Ah. Someone stuffed this in the vase. Looks like it's been hate... used to muffle a gunshot. If this isn't an important discovery, I don't know what is. I hate his whistling sound. Legrand, here I come. Okay. Back to Legrand. The door frame was damaged when Dr. Gebhardt kicked it in. The real question is, why was the door locked in the first place? Hmm. Assuming the murderer isn't a magician, and the Baroness locked the door herself before she went to bed, the murderer couldn't have left the cabin through the door. So, the murderer must have still been in here when Dr. Gebhardt kicked the door in. Which is unlikely, because someone would have seen him, or he found another way out of the cabin. Hmm. The portholes are locked. No, what? One it's bacon. Open They're making bacon. Close them from outside. It's the same problem as with I the will door. Bacon now. If someone left the cabin through the porthole, how did they lock it? And the Baroness wasn't shot from outside. The doctor said she was shot at close range. All right, so I need to click on things a bunch of times. All right, guys, we gotta keep clicking. Always click. more feathers and they're singed as well i tell you what i had yesterday i had timmy's barbecue double me. beef burger abc always be clicking to me you don't have that here. It was really nice. It was really, really nice. A singed pillowcase is proof that there must have been a second gunshot. Oh, I didn't even get it going in the door. Hector? Can't you knock? I. Uh didn't realize he's I'm doing drugs really... guys i i'm not getting anywhere i'm going to question each passenger individually anyone without an airtight alibi will be checked for gunshot residue but inspector anyway. people trip up when you put pressure on them constable zellner the raven is nervous he's changed his methodology and become a murderer I'll see it in his eyes. After you. But, Inspector Legrand! We have no proof that the Raven and the murderer are the same person. Quite the opposite. The Baroness's message hints at the fact that she knew the murderer and that he'd killed before. You may not know it, but I do. I will catch him. With or without your help. He look at Mermaid not a Barnacle Boy. But you can see the Cadillac. You you know that it's not the invisible what whatever him. it's called. Oh, it makes no sense to tell him about my theories if his opinion is already set. I need evidence. Or better yet, the murderer. I also need his lab if I'm going to get anywhere. I need to get in there somehow. And I really door. need to talk to the stowaway. He may have information, and the inspector will just ignore him, since he's too young to be the raven. Just kick the door down. The grand locked the door. 
They're in the visible mobile. The lock isn't especially secure. If I had a wire or something like that, I could probably pick it. Okay. Where's the lady? Where's the lady and where's Matty? Everyone's gonna have moved around, right? That was the big sign that everything's moved, so we should be able to find Matty and his mum, hopefully. The death of his mistress. Mr. Kreitzer, come on, you have to give me a bit more. You're the only one who was on the train and who has no alibi for last night. As I said, I was in my cabin. Are you sure that it was your cabin and not the Baroness? What well, a wonderful question. question. the guests one after another. But if he doesn't get the answers that he wants to hear, it could become... I love the fact he's just let the old lady sit there and watch as well. Like, she's just having a grand old time. She's there like, oh, yeah. I can't watch my, you know, my soaps on the TV. Let's watch this fucking inspector be an idiot. Lady Westmacott, may I bother you for a moment? By all means, Mr. Zelna. How is the questioning going? Are you implying that I'm an eavesdropper? The inspector is placing a lot of pressure on our dear Mr. Kreutzer. He's the only one who was on the train and who doesn't have an alibi for last night. Perhaps. Yeah, question that motherfucker, yeah. A murderer? I know people like him. He doesn't have enough backbone to kill someone I didn't move my microphone close to me. Calm. How he is my microphone sounding today? Drink himself insensible and then railing at fate. How am I sounding? Am I get him? Post the world is wasting his time. Mr. Kreutzer just happens to be a perfect fit for the inspector's image. Mike sounds good, Raven. good. Athletic. It was very far back. Moves among the rich and I am kind of shouting at it. I don't need to shout. If he's the Raven, I can stop shouting. I have to be going, Lady Westmacott. Please keep me informed, Constable Zelda. Of course. You're the one that's, you know, telling me what's going on. Mr. Kreutzer clearly feels uneasy. But does Legrand actually think he's the raven? He's a petty thief. He's already stolen from the, um, Baroness. Legrand is absorbed in the interrogation. He still seems pretty Remember, annoyed. he stole the Baroness's the purse. seems to be bearing the brunt of it. The ship must have been rebuilt at some point. I'm sure it didn't originally have such a modern glass roof. Well, let's have a look and see if there's anyone out here. Whoop. Oh, that's the American lady, right? Captain De Conti seems old and tired. The price you pay for a life like his, I suppose. What? What? Excuse me, what? I'm sure Captain De Conti wouldn't mind a chat, but I don't think he can help me at the moment. He's the captain of a cruise ship, therefore he must look old and tired. Miss Mayers seems to have found an opportunity to do nothing. Hello, Miss Mayers. Perhaps vibrating, guys. Perhaps live. The hat staring to our soul. Zelda, do you think it's appropriate to go sunbathing in a situation like this? What situation? A woman was murdered last night. If refusing to sunbathe could bring the dead back to life, I'd go back to my cabin immediately. Did you hear or see anything I mean, suspicious? Be fair, she night? has nothing to do with the Baroness. I didn't feel very well last night. I went to bed early. So you're feeling better Just because someone morning? died doesn't mean. You know... Lady, I think he's saying you might be in danger. I don't know. I mean, she you knows she is the richest person on here. Now that the Baroness is dead. She could be in danger. Ah! I'm sure your parents are truly sorry that they can't be with you at this difficult time. Maybe. But I'm not a little girl anymore. Beep, beep. And thinking about my fiancé keeps me going. You... you're engaged? Yes. My boyfriend and I got engaged right before the trip. I want to surprise my parents, especially my dad. I'm sure he'll be very surprised. But what my you do is very nice to see you. Oh, I'm happy it helped me. What choice does he I'm happy it helped. I hope you got good sleep. And murderers in the first place. Charming. 
Enjoy the sun, Miss Mayers, and don't let us disturb you. If you're trying to make me feel guilty, Constable, it's not working. He's been weird about her the moment he saw her. He's judged her the second... The absolute second he met her, he judged her. The gangway is hard to miss. Why did the murderer drop the gun on the gangway? They must have noticed the mistake, even if their back was to the sea. So yeah, you would why hear didn't it. they take the gun and throw it a few meters farther into the sea? No, 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 no. Cancel, cancel! I can't cancel. He's just gonna walk up the stairs. I better let the men do their work. If one of them had detected something yesterday, he'd already have informed the Grand or the Captain. What if one of them were the murderer, though? Have we thought that it could just be the crew? Maybe they wanted her alcohol stash. You know? Would you murder for an entire closet worth of alcohol? What would it take you to murder an old lady? I hope I don't find myself needing a life jacket. Right now, I would murder for booze as well. Sadly, my mum's going to see Barbie after work, so I couldn't ask her for anything from work. Hey, we found Matty! Hey, we found him! Matt is keeping himself busy with that strange game. Really five dollars and a comfy word that I'd murder an old lady? But I think he'd be running around all over the place. You know what? Really the first one is free. On the train. Hello there, partner. Hi. Are you all right? Uh-huh. Have you recovered from our adventure? Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Zellner. Mm hmm What's going on? What do you mean? Everybody's acting so strange. And there's tape across that door. I saw that in a movie once. You don't have to be worried. Is it about the man from the train? It might be about the thief, yes. Haven't you caught him yet? I'm working on it. Okay. I like this kid. I heard you and your mom used to argue a lot. We did. Everything was bad. The house, school, the other kids. We didn't have much money, and I was always alone. You do know that your mother would love to have been with you, don't you? She had to go out to work to earn money. She wouldn't have had to. What I've learned is that my chat will kill old and women. How do you get along with her now? I don't know whether to be I'm always happy when we do something together on vacation. Worried or not. She has more time for me now. And I like my boarding school. I have lots of friends, and the teachers aren't so bad. Your mother and Professor Lucien seem to be on very good terms with each other. Mm. Don't you like him? don't know. He seems to be very nice. I guess. Lady Westmacott is all by herself in the saloon. Maybe you'd like to visit her later. Sure. The lady tells exciting stories. I know. She's my favorite writer. She told me that it's not much fun to write detective novels. She'd rather write something else, but her fans always want the same thing. They made her rich and famous. I told her to write what she wants to write. If it's good, someone will buy it. And if not, at least she had fun writing it. Then she smiled and nodded. She said it was a good idea. Oh. What are you playing there? I'm playing shuffleboard. At least I'm trying to. Never played it before. It's easy. Professor Lucian explained it to me. And who won? We didn't play. You didn't want to play with him, did you? Do you want to play a game with me? Sure. Then let's get started. Oh, yeah. What are we playing for? Uh, I thought we'd just play for fun. That's boring. We have to bet something. Otherwise, it isn't fun. You English people. So I'll wow. bet my brand new slingshot. And you? I don't want to gamble. How about ice cream in Cairo? Okay. If I win, I get the slingshot. If I lose, I get an ice cream in Cairo. <laughs> Try to cheat Matt Miller. So, 
What do you say? Ice cream versus slingshot? Mm, he had to think right. about it, though. Let the games begin. Fuck. That was hard. Maybe it bounced, you know? That's I won! It. Oh, man. The athlete wins the day. One more time. No, that's enough for me. All right. Here. Are you sure? Gambling debts are debts of honor. I'll give it back to you when I don't need it anymore, okay? Okay, but make sure my mom doesn't catch you with it. She thinks it's dangerous. Well, I beat that boy in a game I didn't know how to play, but I did it. I did it! Miss Miller and What did I say yesterday? What did I say yesterday? She seems pretty relaxed by her standards. I need to go and pee, by the way. I'll be back in a second. I'll be back.
back. I'm back. And he was so hyper. Puppies do be hyper. Puppies do be very hyper. Good morning, Miss Miller. Professor Lucien. Constable Zellner, how are you? I, I heard you passed out last night. Well, not quite. I was poisoned. Oh. Not quite poisoned, I was that drugged. Bitch. Who do you mean by that wretch? That stowaway. That new raven. The young man can't be the murderer. Constable Oliver had already apprehended him when the shot was fired. You mean... Whoever killed the Baroness is still on the loose. I think I should take my leave. I I'd like to rest for a while. One last question, Professor. Do you think the eye is well protected in the safe in Legrand's cabin? Of course it is. They assured me that it would take hours of work with heavy machinery to crack the safe. And if Legrand isn't in his cabin, Constable Oliver or I check that everything is in order every hour. I understand. I want to go back to my cabin. I'll see you later, Mary. Oh, of course. See you later. I... I didn't want to interrupt your conversation with Professor Lucien so abruptly. I, uh, I don't know what's wrong with him. Learning that there's still a burglar on board seemed to frighten him. He was so relaxed the whole time, and then... Hmm. And then, the stupid Swiss constable came by and made him anxious. Oh, I didn't mean that. No matter. I'm sure he'll calm down and come back soon enough. May I ask you a few questions? Of course. How is Matt? He seems happy enough. After all the commotion, he's already back to his old self again. But I haven't told him about the murder. That would be a bit too much for him. I think he's made of sterner stuff. I want to thank you again for what you did on the train. I wouldn't have known... Everything's fine. Think nothing of it. How was last night for you? It was awful. I was having a conversation with Edgar, uh, Professor Lucien, here on the forecastle. Then I wanted to look for the lady and went forward via the side deck. When I passed the Baroness's cabin, I heard a muffled scream. You heard a scream? Yes. I thought the Baroness probably had a fall. I went to the door and listened for a moment. Since I couldn't hear anything, I knocked on the door and asked whether she was all right. There was no answer. Interesting. And then? I, I didn't know what to do, so I tried to open the door it was locked. I saw the Baroness's butler, Mr. Inch, on the forecastle. I thought he might have the key and went back. On the way, the Bobby crossed my path, and then Edgar, who wanted to check the safe. I explained the situation to him, and then the alarm went off. How did the scream sound? It was a short outcry, very frightened, as if someone had been startled. Was it a woman's voice? Yes, the voice was high. So it could have been a scream from the Baroness. Possibly because she discovered someone in her cabin. Possibly. That person might have threatened her with a weapon, so that she wouldn't scream for help. Oh, God. He waited until the coast was clear. Oh, please, stop it, Mr. Zeller. Why are we telling so much to the other people on the ship? Should we really just be going around telling everyone what we think happened? The Baroness's butler said that he was on the forecastle as well? Yes, he was standing on the other side of the deck smoking a cigarette. Was he on the forecastle the whole time? Uh, I'm not sure. He was Maybe there, to see the reaction? Later, he was on the side deck with us. Oh, yeah, yes, he, he looked after you while you were unconscious. He unbuttoned your collar and held your head while the doctor checked you. But you can't say for certain whether he came from the forecastle with you and Professor Lucien or afterwards. Well, no, but where else could he have come from? We're giving away too much information to possible murderers, though. Like, you're meant to be very vague, because if you're vague and then they fill in a gap that you never told them, then you know you've caught someone who knows more than, you know, they should. But he's literally just outright telling them exactly what he thinks happened. 
Did you report that to Inspector Legrand? Yes, last night. He was very interested and took a lot of notes. But I wanted to look for Lady Westmacott, and he let me go without further delay. He said that he'd take down my full statement today. I understand. Do you think the man from the train also killed the Baroness, Constable Zellner? I don't know yet. It's horrible. Explosions, thieves, murderers. This isn't the right place for a lady and a little boy. A lady and a little boy. You and Professor Lucien seem to be having a lively conversation. Oh, yes. He's an expert in ancient Egyptian art and preeminent in hieroglyphic research. He's the head of the Egyptian department in the British Museum, you know. And he's going to open an exhibition at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Right. Uh, for the eye. They had planned on exhibiting both jewels together for the first time in decades, but... That's not going to happen now, sadly. I think it's quite upsetting for him. We're working hard to ensure that at least one eye will be on display. I know. I'll ask Lady Westmacott if she'd like to participate in the opening of the exhibition. I think it would be good for her. And Professor Lucien will surely offer you a private tour. You're American, aren't you? That's correct. And you moved to England because of the job? I lived in England before. During the Second World War, I volunteered. I worked in a pharmacy on a U.S. base north of London. In a pharmacy? Interesting. Well, it was the war and everyone was sent where they could help best. Please, go on, Mrs. Miller. After the war, I studied music in London. I met my husband there. We married and went back to the States together. He was also American? No, English. But he said he had problems with his family, and he wanted to be as far from them as possible. And you gave up your studies for him? Well, yes, I did. Could Lady Westmacott be... the mother-in-law? Life as a single mother couldn't have been easy. It was pretty tough then. I worked from morning till night, and it was still only enough for the bare necessities. And I couldn't give Matt all the attention he needed. And then, Lady Westmacott entered your life. It was like an angel appeared to me. She must have offered me the position out of pity. I had no experience. I think she's family. definitely she the mother-in-law. She offer. I couldn't believe it. And she she's really the sure the mother-in-law. She's offered him a good education, and now he has 100 percent the mother-in-law. In an almost unbelievable story. I'm still afraid that it's a dream and that I'll wake up one day. How does it feel to work for such a world-famous person? The work is very interesting and varied, and it pays well, too. This game can't keep its secrets from me. I know. I just I you know, guys. I day. know. What would become of Matt's education then? I really make an effort to measure up to Lady Westmacott's expectations, but sometimes I feel like I fall short. Lady Westmacott couldn't ask for a better companion. I'm saving up as much money as I can all the same. I'd do anything so that Matt doesn't have to give up his new life. Lady Westmacott dropped a hint on the train that she killed her hero, Partout. What did she mean by that? Oh, she must have meant the manuscript. Manuscript? She always takes it with her. It's an unpublished Partout novel. I once asked her why she never published it. She said that according to her will, the novel's only to be published after her death. And in it, Partout will be killed? Maybe. That makes I've sense. Never read it. No one has. You'd better ask her yourself. If you worked in a pharmacy, you would certainly know something about medicines and poisons. Everything is a potential is poison. Is tranquilizers it technically a po poison? Chloral hydrate. It's a tranquilizer, isn't it? I'm asking you. Well, Lady Westmacott also asked questions like that for her last novel. But since I've never wanted to kill anyone, I never bothered with things like strychnine and arsenic and all that. I could recommend something for a headache, a sore throat, or a rash. That's kind of you, but there's really no need. I'll be seeing you, Miss Miller. Constable? Well, yeah, I mean, sure, but I mean... To keep going on about being poisoned, he wasn't technically poisoned from what we know, he was drugged. There is a difference. He's not dead for a star. He didn't need an antidote to save him. He just needed a nap. The bottle should be full of water. Unless the good constable happens to have a secret alcohol problem. No way to verify that. I can't get the bottle without him noticing. Matt, can you get the bottle for me? 
Hello, Matt. Hi there. I think you'll have to express. Okay, you play with the bloop. I already know this now. I already know. I've already beaten your ass. I don't need to beat you again, child. The stowaway surely didn't sleep well last night in the cargo hold. Although his cell is probably more comfortable than my cabin. And more spacious. Don't complain. You weren't even meant to be on this ship. You haven't paid to be here either. You're technically a stowaway. You're both stowaways. The death of his mis- The death- Okay. Well, he's back in here. I'm sure Cap- <laughs> Lady Westmacott, may I bother you for a moment? By all means, Mr. Zelmer. Did Miss Miller cope with all the excitement? I think so. But what happened on the train was quite a shock for her. She wouldn't be able to go on if something happened to Matthew. She's worried about him. He's all she has. It breaks her heart that he lives at a boarding school and can't always be with her. But she sets her wishes and needs aside so that he can get a good education. That's her way. Where is Matthew's father? Gone. Run off. Ran away from his problems again. He drank a lot. More and more after each setback. It's better for both of them this way. He left her. She couldn't have borne it. She loved him and wanted to stick by him. She fell out with her family over him. They couldn't understand her. And when he left her, the ground opened up beneath her feet. For two weeks... She's definitely she the mother-in-law. If she didn't have Matthew, she'd be dead. You seem to know a lot about it. I mean, about the time before Miss Miller began working for you. I have my reasons. And Matthew... Do you care as deeply about the children of your other employees? If you fail with your own child, you hope to do better with others, Constable. And the idea to send Matt to a boarding school... ...was mine. Matthew idolized his father and blamed his mother for the fact that he wasn't around anymore. I was afraid the situation would escalate if he had to live on a country estate alone with his mother and some old people. I think I was right. He quickly made friends at boarding school. He's popular, well-liked, a real athlete according to his teachers, and his relationship with his mother has improved as well. He's headed in the right direction. Miss Miller told me that you have a valuable manuscript with you. That is correct. An unpublished part two novel. The manuscript must be worth a fortune. Oh, it's not just any part two novel. I wrote it 20 years ago, but it will only be published after my death. It's part two's last case. Maurice part dies. You, you're going to kill him off? I already have. And I enjoyed it. Madam. I was so sick of writing one part two novel after another. I was keen to uh, stick a knife in his guts. And so, 20 years ago, I did. Of course, I didn't want to disappoint my fans, so I let him solve case after case. But at least I was certain that he'd never escape me. That in the end, I would get him. I understand. Let's just hope that this novel remains unpublished for many more years. I have to be going, Lady Westmacott. Please keep me informed, Constable Zellner. To be of fair, course. would he really want to have, you know, part two novels written by someone else? Like, it's never the same when someone else writes, you know, a well-established story. It's not like she could keep writing it exactly. It's kind of like what um, Terry Pratchett kind of did with his last novel, without going into that. Legrand will attend to the interrogations, and I'll handle the investigation. I won't talk to him again until I'm... My God. I couldn't get a wire from the woman this time 
the metal I have of the tone feels cold from the smooth handle all the way to the tips. Can I? Miss Mayers doesn't really seem to be much help in my investigations. I mean, she probably doesn't know anything, my dude. Leave her be. I mean, I guess I didn't talk to... Remember when Terry Pratchett died? All of his unfinished works and stuff were on a like on a hard drive of disc or something, and they ran it over with a steamroller or something, didn't they? Would I question him? Would also save time if you stopped asking me the same things over and over again. I will not let you in. What time is it, by the way? Got an appointment? No, but I'm hungry. Go and get yourself something. I'll mind the door in the meantime. Ah uh -huh. You could bring me something, though. So, what do you want to eat? Oh, anything. An apple or something like that. Leave it with me. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I've got to go get him food. I'm not a fucking waiter, apparently. Let the tongues feed. Now drop the food. Easy way in. Whatever Constable Oliver wants, he's getting ham and eggs. Just a pinch of salt for our friendly constable. Oh, we're gonna dehydrate him. Good. But he's got a water bottle, so it doesn't matter. Constable Oliver. Huh? Ham and eggs, piping hot. Oh, I, I, I shouldn't really. I don't see anyone here who'd rebuke you. It was a hard night. Can I slingshot yeah, sure. him? We're gonna make him pee. Delicious. Huh. Mm. Just enough salt. <laughs> he has way too much salt then, because we mm. fucking covered it in oh, salt. Oh, Cheers. You don't expect me to wash your dirty dishes as well, do you? Oh, of course not, Your Majesty. Oh, that was a proper meal and no mistake. He didn't eat it. Constable Oliver is drinking the water he brought along. Can I take the salt? Excellent. Ah, that's just what I needed. Uh, I was thinking of picking something up, but uh, the other dude. Never mind, Zauna. You have a cup of coffee. Constable is quenching his thirst with a bottle of water. The constable is quenching his thirst with a bottle of water. You'll have a problem when it's empty, but I can't wait that long. If 
I had some ammo, I'm sure I could hit the bottle. I'll let him play for now. Hi. Matt is keeping himself busy with that strange game. He seems to be okay again, but I think he'd be running around all over the place if he'd... I need to find ammo. Or maybe, maybe, no, the dart went away. There was like dart in the corner. Oh my God, please walk in the right direction. Was it coffee? It felt like tea? I mean... They're both basically the same thing. They're both disgusting. It's coffee, see? Stones. I had a brainwave. Perfect ammunition for the slingshot. Fucking did it, lads. for the slingshot. Now I just need a suitable target. You mean, someone shot at you? Yes, well, no, I, I don't know. Didn't you notice anything? I was riveted by the fantastic view. We Swiss aren't used to seeing the horizon like this. And my bottle's broken too. Oh, I don't believe this. Could you, uh, could you bring me something to drink? Those ham and eggs were pretty salty. I'm sorry. I have to proceed with my investigations. Goodbye. Let's see how long he can resist his thirst. I've got to continue my investigation. Stan's there staring at him. Not long at all. Nervous? I would be too in your position. Who are you? My name is Adil, and you are... Constable Zellner, why did you sneak onto the ship, Adil? I wanted to go back home. You're Egyptian? There's no work for me in Italy. I want to see my family again. And since you don't have money, 
you stole away. So what if I did? So, it was you who knocked me out. Me? <laughs> Never. No? Where were you when I was attacked? Well, I couldn't take anything with me on this trip, so I uh, snuck into the kitchen and took some canned goods. Interesting. And how do you know when I was attacked? Well, I, I thought it was yesterday, shortly before we set sail. I take this bump personally. What were you searching for on deck last night? I was hiding the whole evening. I wanted to go out and get some fresh air, see the stars. But then suddenly, they were looking for me. Were you in one of the cabins? No. Did you see anyone on the deck or on the roof? No. And after we arrested you? The English policeman put me in this cell. Then he left. I've been here ever since. And you didn't notice anything along the way? No, nothing. What about the gunshot? Didn't you hear it? Uh, yes. The English policeman had already arrested me. We heard a bang and looked around. And then? Then? The Bobby was in a hurry to get rid of me. He almost pushed me down the stairs and locked me in here. He left, and, and then a short time later, the alarm went off. Constable Oliver wasn't with you anymore when the alarm went off? No. I was scared that the ship would sink with me sitting here like a rat in a trap. It's hard for me to believe a single word of your story. Because I'm a foreigner? Because you seem to have learned our language in the space of a day. Accent free. Believe what you want. Who paid you to distract us? What? You went for a walk around the deck and let yourself be seen. Everyone goes off hunting you, and in the meantime, your partner shoots the Baroness in peace. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't want to distract anyone. I, I just want to go home. You're a liar. And a bad one at that. But sir, I'm telling the truth. And I'm the Raven. Inspector Legrand will deal with you. He's lying like a cheap rug. But he probably doesn't know anything about the murder. Very disappointing. So I have to keep searching. What interests me most is the shot that was fired here in the cargo hold last night. Whoever fired the shot hit the crate. No, the bullet hole is too small for the tongs. Did the shooter just want to int- Or maybe he needed the bullet. Can't see anything. If the bullet is still stuck in the wood, it's too deep to reach with my fingers. The cargo hold also seems to serve as at least for the... A stroke of luck. The lock is open. Oil-stained overalls. And here, an old toolbox. It's been through a lot. Hardly any paint, dented, and the lid is held shut by a wire. I'll take it with me. Hmm. Some wrenches, a bit of wire wool, an oily cloth, and here, a screwdriver. He didn't have anything to pickle up with, though. He's just a very lucky bad thief. Well, I think the bullet is still in the wood. I'm not a weapons specialist, but at first sight, I'd say that this bullet looks exactly the same as the one Dr. Gebhardt gave me for Legrand. That would mean that the murderer also fired a shot here in the cargo hold before the murder. But why? Did they just want to make sure the old gun still worked? Or was it something else? And did the bullet really come from the same gun? I can only check that in Legrand's cabin. Well, the good thing is, 
I have wire to get into there now. That takes the biscuit. I noticed that the door was unguarded. I just wanted to make sure that everything was all right. Tell it to Legrand. He's expressly forbidden anyone to speak to the witness before he does. Well, maybe he should have spoken to that witness before he started shouting at the violinist. Don't act like that. Legrand can't manage all this alone. We're a team. Only until the end of this case. All right. Let's go to Legrand and tell him what happened. You fell asleep and then you left the door unguarded. Well, are we going? Hmm? No, no, but don't try it again. Of course not. We're a bastard boy, we're a bastard with tits of steel. The lock isn't especially secure. Oh, I get it. That's completely wrong. They have to be. Oh, does there? All right, I'm doing it wrong. I'm guessing the um, the holes have to be where the gray thing is. All right. Okay. Give me a little less realism. Just let me do it in the lock. Why is probably broken into pieces by now. Neatly folded and unused. Legrand hasn't slept since we cast off, nor on the train. A lock master and son. Tough to crack. If I wanted to steal the eye, I'd concentrate on getting the three keys. Sounds like you know a lot about stealing Legrand things. Legrand must have taken and developed the photos himself. 
He even made copies and enlargements. He seems to be prepared for everything with access to more Wasn't resources he doing drugs than earlier? Probably. Detective. I don't think we got a good look at what he was doing, but it looked like Another that. Alarm. It was tripped at some point, but there's no way to determine when. <laughs> hmm. Smells like chemicals. Legrand probably developed the photos in here. There are still fragments of the syringe that the inspector oh, no, he did get in a proper look. Why is he pushing himself like this? Even if he catches the raven, is it worth ruining his career and his health? Legrand must have taken them yesterday at the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's how we found her yesterday, I think. I wasn't really myself at the time. Hmm. No. Nothing suspicious. Hmm. Yes. The bed, the blood spot. The spot on the sheet is much bigger than the one on the mattress. There's blood on the blanket as well. A lot of blood, I'd say. The blanket and the sheet are gone. I guess they're in the medical center. A rough diagram of the ship. Legrand marked the Baroness's cabin. Seems like he didn't turn up anything else of note. This photo provides an overview of the crime scene. Shot in her sleep. She didn't feel a thing. She went to sleep and never woke up. Okay. A masterpiece. Forensic teams use kits like these, placing increasing importance on the preservation of evidence. But not in Switzerland yet. It's a small lab used to conduct we have been told she screamed, yeah. on site. He doesn't seem to remember that, though. All right. What have we got here? Half of the tools in this box would be interesting for an archaeologist as well. Actually, forensics and archaeology are really quite similar to each other. The goal is to find out what happened, whether a few hours ago or a few centuries ago. I'm sure Legrand could work magic in this alchemist's lab. Me, I'm just awestruck. What's this? Oh, how practical. A hermetically sealed cotton swab for collecting samples. I'll take it. We're just stealing stuff Good now. Lord. Good 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 lord. A small glass bowl for mixing chemicals. A small... Fingerprints are overrated. Smart thieves wear gloves, or they make sure that there are too many fingerprints at the crime scene to check them all. We are sounding more and more like a criminal. So... Is it the bonnet we were looking for? Alright, we do want the... We wanted a... Oh, I didn't open the drawer. Oh my god, now I'm just going somewhere else. Alright, no, let me go and get the thing I know that we need, and then we'll come back. Thank you for the hydrate, though. Feeling any better? Well... Oh my god. Okay. Well, seriously, seriously, we need to talk. What have you done to make the world hate you? 
I always wanted to do that. That should be enough. You don't know, fictional. You don't know what happened on Wednesday. It's not over yet. I mean, I hold out hope something nice will happen for you. This, this motherfucker over here, this little shit, nearly died because of weather. <laughs> the weather tried to kill him. But also, I hope the, um, we got another massive storm right now and my lights are flickering. Oh shit, is it actually like the same kind of storm you had the other day on Wednesday? No, he was, he was, um, riding home from work and it was like tornado-esque weather that just sprung up halfway through his tra travel home because he doesn't seem to actually look like he's gonna he's gonna reply to you but i i will explain for you fig not sure yet but the lightning is super loud you've got A lightning today oh shit buddy looks like the one that lutz reichinger uses in his pharmacy i'm so sorry just more modern there's nothing on the slide and therefore nothing to see Okay. I guess at least you don't have anything. Anything you actually need to go out to do, right? I need the second bullet for a comparison. Okay. You don't need to walk over there to tell me that, buddy. Okay, so that's that. Aha. That's the bullet the doctor removed from the Baroness's corpse. Correct Tyler Summer Hell means tornadoes. Then we got the warning a few minutes later, Jesus fucking Christ. Our weather has been cold, we've had a lot of rain, but nothing severe, thankfully. There's nothing written on the bottle. I suppose it's some sort of stimulant. Legal or not, the Grand has been awake for at least 30 hours straight, maybe more. This is the pipe from the cargo hold. The Grand seems to have inspected it for fingerprints. I can still make out the powder. Le Grand's file on Le the Grand. Raven, centimeters thick, but totally useless. We're not dealing with the Raven. Why can't he see that? Our man is ruthless, a bomber, and quite probably a murderer. Okay, so what I'm thinking... Blood sample... No, we still can't use the blood sample. A small glass... Okay, so we're not... We're not actually doing anything important, apparently. Aha! This is some kind of inventory list. For each chemical, it lists the chemical composition. I don't think there's ever been one in my town. I don't it. think there ever is a list of the most important. Yeah, that's the same here. Fingerprints. Mm -hmm. mm. Gunshot residue. Blood. Mm. Well, it explains how to confirm that something is blood. That's a start. You have to mix luminol and a hydrogen luminol. peroxide solution. I love luminol. And then drip or spray the I used to play the CSI the game, the so you always had a bottle of luminol. Glows, even if there's just a very small amount of blood. Okay then, luminol and hydrogen peroxide. Luminol. Well, he's not like a proper... I don't think constables are going to know that in the 60s. Our constables barely knew how to be police officers in the 60s. And he's even older than that. Aha. Hydrogen peroxide solution. 
But also, yes, Leo, stay safe, as safe as you can. Aha. Hopefully Moving the on. storm dies down. So, let's see what we have here. No blood. Not it is the ketchup. Reaction. It was actually if I ketchup. If make a mistake, and it wasn't that difficult, then the spot on the Baroness's bed isn't really blood. But if it isn't blood, what is it? And more importantly, why didn't Dr. Gebhardt notice anything? He was supposed to have examined everything. We fucked up. Hmm. Or, to be fair, the, we never actually talked to, to anyone about... Center. We, we never talked to anyone about the blood stain on the bed, and they took the things that are actually covered in blood, you know, away. So maybe they already knew it wasn't a blood stain, and that's why, you know... I mean. <laughs> nobody but we were talking about it. All right. Do, 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 do. No. No, definitely not. I don't. Oh god, this is really difficult with how dark my... How would I know one way or the other? Well... No! Oh, I hate this game sometimes. The controls are really bad. Hey, Scribbles. It's not your lunchtime yet. Get away! Get away, foul beast. What am I looking for? This is all very hard to see. I must have turned this thing around like 20 <laughs> times now. Hello. Yo, Sarah, thank you so much for the seven month resub. How's it going? This is the right bullet. Am I missing something? I don't think so. 
These are two bullets that we're comparing, but I'm not sure what the what what we're actually really doing. Like that? No. But I also can't see very much because neither of my screens want to pick this up very very easily. I might just actually look this up and see what it wants from me. Because you see, this looks like it kind of fits. It's a little wonky, but it, it's the closest you get to it fitting. And then I just came out of it again. Jesus Christ. But like, if it's not the right one, you'd think there'd be an option when you go around that says this isn't the right bullet or something, you know? It's just letting me roll around forever right maybe i should go into the other place maybe this isn't important well it is important but it's not important for me now because i've given up this campfire was back years so far all we've done is be an asshole break someone's glass nearly get killed and be an asshole, basically. It seems impossible that Dr. Gebhardt could have shot the Baroness. He was with me when the gunshot ran out. But he must have noticed that the Baroness was lying in a pool of fake blood. Maybe he's covering for someone. Let's find out. Yeah, we keep telling people we're poisoned when we're actually just drugged. Oh, I don't even get to do the mini game that time. The game was like, you did the mini game so badly the first time, you don't get to do it a second time. It's probably for emergencies, in case a passenger falls down and can't walk anymore. Possibly due to rough seas. we weren't or meant to be the, the ones that well were drugged. We were just given the glass because we'd gotten attacked. So they gave us a glass of alcohol to make us feel better? The sink looks like it's been cleaned recently. I can't say whether it was clean to comply with you the hygiene regulations. Do it again. Or we all know I didn't do it well, recently. fictional. We, we all know I did not do it well. Interesting. A tape and a reel. I fucking reel told you. belongs to a much better player. Like the one from the Baroness's cabin. I can't be certain that this is the reel that was missing from the Baroness's cabin, but it seems quite likely. I fucking told you guys that the doctor was the murderer. Oh, did we pick that up? No. Are we just... Not gonna pick it up? We... Oh, no, there's an audio tape right next to it, that's why. Okay. Hmm. Nothing. Strange. Fair. Well, very interesting. A shot is audible on the tape, and the reel comes from the Baroness's cabin. It's all coming into focus. I guess the trash bin is in here. Is this here trash right. bin by the door? Paper towels, plastic packaging, cartons, and hold on. What's this? A burst rubber glove. It's knotted, and there's a red liquid all over the inside that looks like blood. I bet good money that it's the same fake blood I found in the Baroness's cabin. Can we look for a, can we look for yet another bullet, please? I feel like we need another bullet. Dr. Gebhardt will have trouble explaining how rubber gloves full of fake blood got into his trash How bin. are you doing this, Sarah? First, the fake blood he missed in the Baroness's cabin, and now this. It How did your stream go on Friday? I wasn't around, so I missed it. 
I usually at least lurk, but I wasn't even at my PC. That's proof enough for me that I should report. Right, I'm reporting that to the ground. I don't want to report it to the ground. I want to find another bullet. Can we not look at the dead body? Thursday. Yes, Thursday. Because yesterday was Friday. Yesterday was Friday. I know my days of the week. That's how well my week went. <laughs> It was okay we hit a wall with BPM though. Oh, that sucks. Time to pay Lagrand a visit. Yesterday was crazy piece of beauty. <gasps> no. No, no, no. Oh. Fucking. Everyone sat there and was like, oh, you're just picking on him because he's the, he's the fucking German. Of course you're going to blame the German. That's what everyone was saying to me. That's what everyone said to me. Right, right, right. It was the fucking German, guys. I don't think he's German. He might be Austrian. You see, the hit spot highlight is really upsetting for me. I know, like, it's not a lot, but it's because it's on the square button. And I just keep wanting to press the square button for my, um... For my inventory. So I keep pressing square for my inventory for some reason. And then I'm losing points, and it's really annoying. Did we just straight up die? Nah, that's just the end of chapter one. There we go. We were just drugged. Oh yes, everyone said it indeed. War well, definitely Why said it. it everyone is here like, you just quit blaming the German. That was chapter one, yes. I'm not gonna lie, I looked a little bit into the achievements after the last stream and realized we hadn't finished chapter one and it was like, oh, this game is gonna be long. Because I think I saw at least three chapters, maybe. But it was also an episodic game when it originally came out, so that's probably why as well, to be fair. So what happened? We've been drugged. He obviously killed the Baroness. He's gonna fucking murder me, guys! I didn't even know you could. Um, get hints, to be fair. Put the footrest up. Unfashion straps. Okay. I kind of like this effect though. This effect's quite cool. Pick the scissors. Pick the scissors. Enough of that, Mr. Turner. Soon it will all be behind. <laughs> We're gonna die, guys. Literally dead. I am sorry you have to see you. All right. Um. I don't have anything I need to do that. Does that just trigger after you do this, or did I take too much time? No, that just triggers straight after you pick up the scissors, All right? So we can't pick up the scissors. Shit. 
Have you? Are you still gonna kill me? Mr. Turner, what are you doing back there? Red, no matter. I'm ready now. I am sorry you have to see all this. I should have used more blood. Can I talk to him? Talking. Chloroform? I had it in my bag, just in case. You were supposed to be asleep. I am not a monster, you know? I... I have nothing against you. Nothing at all. But... What can I do? You forced my hand. It's your fault. Yours alone. Anne. Why? 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 Why did the Baroness have to snoop around? I told you. I called I this. You want to plant evidence on me, yeah? I left no evidence. There is no trail. And yet you can't just leave me in peace, can you? And what next? Heart failure. Happens a lot at your age, especially given your background. I am still considering whether I should throw you overboard. Don't leave evidence. No evidence. Hmm. But what if I'm seen? My plan was perfect. And then you ruined everything! I think I, I think I understand it. But I might need to die again. Because I think I fucked it up. Or maybe not. Scissors. Please tell me we kept the scissors. It's almost over. I will. What did we stab him with? Oh, then there comes the ground, I guess. Are you okay? <laughs> that voice. Are you okay? Thanks. A wet towel works miracles. I told you so. <laughs> Out with it then. What were you doing down there? Inspector, at least let the constable recover his breath. He almost killed himself. Me? No. Dr. Gebhardt would have taken care of that for me. Where is he? Gebhardt? He's vanished without a trace. We're searching the ship from top to bottom. One at a time. Tell me, Zelma. What did you find out? Dr. Gebhardt killed <laughs> Baroness von murders. Trevitz. Impossible. Do you have proof? Besides the fact that he wanted to kill me? But wasn't the doctor with you when the shot was fired? 
The shot that we heard was a recording. The Baroness had a tape recorder and good speakers in her cabin. Good enough to make the noise audible on the upper deck. Is that just your suspicion? Or do you have proof? There's an audio tape in the medical center. The reel belongs to the tape player in the Baroness's cabin. And there's a Seibling reel in her cabin that belongs to the recorder in the medical center. <sighs> He recorded ah, it in the you. cargo The only thing we haven't done is the bullet. The bullet is what we're going to fail. And I removed that is the, the only thing we're going to fail with. Down there. And it came from the murder weapon? All right. Uh, uh, Inspector Legrand. Let's pretend you're onto something. The shot we heard was just a recording. What happened next? We all ran to the Baroness's cabin. She lay comatose in a pool of blood. Dr. Gebhardt pushed she past you so that blood. you couldn't get too close to the Baroness. He examined her and pronounced her dead. There was no reason for us to doubt him. The shot, the blood, the Baroness lying there lifelessly. But she was only unconscious. Knocked out by the chloral hydrate that the doctor had poured into her glass shortly before. The doctor had a glass in his hand when you came in. He wanted to remove the evidence. But you gave me the glass instead, Captain De Conti, and unintentionally knocked me out as well. Nonsense. There was blood everywhere. And the Baroness is certainly dead enough, isn't she? Then who did shoot her? And when? But she was shot, wasn't she? Like, she was shot. Like, like we've seen he did use the silencer to shoot her, right? As I already said, it was Dr. Gebhardt. He shot the sleeping Baroness in her cabin, barely 10 meters away from us. What are you saying? The doctor oh God, what was, was alone in the cabin for a while. When the alarm went off, it was death couldn't even hear myself. And I found a pillow with burn marks. Could have been used to muffle a gunshot. And the blood? The blood wasn't real. Dr. Gebhardt mixed up a liquid that looked like fresh blood to the casual observer. But the liquid remained red instead of becoming darker and browner from exposure to the air. That meant he had to clean the body and get rid of the bedding. But the blood was already there when we first entered the cabin. Dr. Gebhardt was in the Baroness's cabin before the murder. He hid a surgical glove full of the red liquid under her sheet. The Baroness, dead tired, fell onto her bed. The glove burst and the blood spread across the bed. I found the burst glove in the medical center. But why did he do it? What was his motive? Uh, Inspector? Well, I feel like it's going to be, I can only speculate, because it's not about the Eye of the Sphinx. I don't think she was blackmailing him. This is the thing, like, she definitely thinks, like, he is the murderer that she was talking about, right? So she wasn't blackmailing him, because she was going to tell Legrand about him being a murderer. I, I just don't feel like she would have gone that far, you know... I can only speculate. The Baroness spent the day rummaging through her old family photos. No, no, no. Do you have anything to contribute, Constable? Shut up, Oliver. Uh, uh, confession, sir. Dr. Gephardt was the raven. It's all here. He admits to everything. What does it say? It says, do you still remember, my dear Nico? The streets were wet with rain and the scent of roasted barley and fermenting yeast wafted over to us from the brewery. The dog barked until your shot struck down the innocent one. After that silence, not a single sound except for my soft steps fading on the wet cobblestone street. They made a hero of you and I at last found peace. 
At least until the urge returned. Some of us are not made for retirement, my friend. I thought they would assign this case to you. And that thought pleased me. We'd finally find out who was truly the better man. And it pains me now to have to admit that you and your little gumshoe got the better of me. You drove me into a corner. Forced me to make mistakes. Gonna be hard to I prove, though. You on your triumph, but no one will confine the raven to a cage. There is but one way out, and that is by my own hand. Farewell, Raven Hunter R. Inspector Legrand. So if if that was from the doctor. The doctor was trying to kill me. <laughs> Inspector? I was right. I told them all, over and over again. But no one would listen. You think that Dr. Gebhardt was really the raven? The things Gebhardt describes in his letter aren't part of any police report. Only someone who was there would know. Couldn't there have been others involved? Uh, one of the police, for instance. What if one of them changed sides? Why is it so hard for you to accept the simple truth? There was never a new raven. There was only ever the old one. Why is it that so hard for you to believe the that, you know, someone who was a thief that match. never hurt someone? The raven was not a killer. <laughs> it's Legends odd that they would suddenly red, become a murderer. Constable Zelda. Oh, he's gonna tell us he actually murdered someone then. All right. Probably just tell us now that he murdered someone already, you know? Then who was the man who was killed back then? William Jackson, a petty thief. Committed petty some burglaries thief. together with his brother. Talented, but not world class. And they thought he was the Raven. Some people thought it was part of his disguise. If you're a debonair master thief, what better disguise than pretending to be a common crook? From time to time, you let them catch you pulling small jobs, and no one ever imagines you're capable of a major heist. But you didn't believe it. I had my doubts. But everyone congratulated me, and those doubts were pushed aside. It was like being caught in a storm. But eventually the storm passed, and my doubts were still there. But not this time? No doubts telling you that Geb Hart isn't our man? It must be him. What about the handwriting, the wording? Does the farewell letter match the Raven's other letters? Yes, it's his handwriting, his words. I've read all the Raven's letters, all of them, over and over again. I never thought it was possible. A resurrected Raven. The Raven was never dead. I shot the wrong man. I'm so but confused right now, guys. My goods, brain is not paying so enough attention to what they're saying to the understand Raven. what they're going One on about. Would hardly call him innocent. Where do we go from here? We deliver the eye and then our contact Perry. A task force will compare all of Gephardt's known residences with the Raven's activity. And if there are any inconsistencies? You're welcome to keep an eye on the safe if you can't let it go. The ship will remain in Cairo for one day. That's all the time you'll have to catch your own, Raven. I already have mine. It's like... From what I know, they haven't actually caught... The guy, right? Ah, you're one of Legrand's men, aren't you? My name is Anton Jakob Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. Grace, my ducks will be missing. Uh, there may be more important matters for me to attend to, Mr. Director Abbas Mohtar. And Grace isn't just a common dog. She's a purebred German dachshund, a champion. He said he killed himself, but what? But this is the thing. If he's the Raven, and that was his suicide note, right? Why did he try to kill me? Because he was already going to kill himself. Like, why would he go through the trouble of trying to kill me if he was going to kill himself anyway? 
And like, I said, I said, we injected him with something. I don't think he sat down and wrote a fucking poetic note just before he died after being fucking injected. I thought he said waffle and not Jacob. Leo, maybe you need some waffles. Have you thought that maybe you need a waffle in your life? So, the exhibition will still open tonight. But of course, everything has been arranged. The final preparations are almost complete. But one of the two exhibits won't be there. A terrible loss, a tragedy. That irreplaceable Egyptian cultural treasure has been stolen for the second time. The second time? What? Did you really believe that the Eye of the Sphinx was found lying on the banks of the Thames? Of the Thames? Yes. But this is the thing, like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, someone stopped him, right? Someone stopped him. And yet he disappeared after we injected him with something from a random syringe that was just lying on the floor. But at some point, at some point, he was able to be fully capable of writing an extremely long-winded confession. It makes no sense. I don't... I think he's a murderer, but I think he's a murderer because, as I said, I feel it's the stereotype of German... I can't remember if he was actually German, but he, he might have been Austrian. But German slash Austrian doctor from the end of the 40s, 50s, doing something a bit dodgy. And, like, we already know that the Baroness has lost family, and she was apparently rifling through family photos and stuff. So I feel like he could have potentially had something to do with the death of whatever, whoever it was that died in her life, you know? Like the stereotype, oh, he, he was in a concentration camp, so he's the reason these people died. Like, it's just, it's the kind of stupid stereotype that is always in this kind of thing. I don't think he's going to be the Raven. I still feel the Raven is us. I've gone off the Gizla Grant now. I've gone completely off the Gizla Grant. I think it's us again. <laughs> well, maybe Oliver. Maybe Oliver is tricking us into believing he's really lazy. And actually, he's the Raven. Inspector Legrand, Professor Lucien, and Constable Oliver are overseeing the transportation of the safe. They this lazy storytelling it is. Moment. I'll have a look around in the meantime. Nothing about this makes Do me feel like it's going to be necessary. anything but lazy, though. The Raven is dead, after all. If you mean Dr. Gebhardt, his body was never recovered. Nor the stolen eye of the Sphinx, for that matter. It does us a great honor that the inspector is concerned about us. But we have everything under control. Legrand isn't as concerned as he should be. But I am. Is the museum closed? Yes, it's literally a yes. sign that says closed. Only carefully selected guests may enter the I museum. I can literally see it. Museum closed. And of course, you're one of them, Mr. Uh, I mean to paint the Nazis as the bad guy. I'm sorry, Candle. What can you tell me about the museum's security system? One of the best on the market, and the second eye will still be exhibited in our special treasure chamber, which is extra secure. Treasure chamber? See for yourself, to the right of the entrance. The eye is as safe as the British crown jewels. The British crown jewels aren't that safe. Oh, I think I'll have a look around Have the you museum. never read a Sherlock Holmes Please mystery, do. my There's dude? There's a lot to see. And you let me know if you see Grace, won't you? I hope we find her before the great inspector arrives. Isn't it fantastic how he solved the murder on the ship? Le Grand. <laughs> of course. It's in all the newspapers. The murder of the wealthy Baroness von Trebitz and how the great Inspector Le Grand identified the murder. As we all know, Sherlock Holmes novels are bar they say 100% are the stuff of me. Are made of. You should count yourself lucky to have the chance. We had this conversation last week. What. What exactly do the newspapers say? Everything. It's fantastic. Someone on board must have informed the press immediately. Of course, it's a great advertising for us. The reporters will queue up tonight. And it was reported that Legrand found the murderer. Of course. Who else? Well, 
I wasn't exactly uninvolved. Of course. Le Grand surely has assistance, but honor to he who deserves to be honored. Look, chubby. I, well then, the scene you come Me, and my disgusting mustard t-shirt was the one that did it. Oh, my sweetheart. How Where did he get in you? there? Oh, wait a minute, he oh, did work for the Baron. Mr. Inch. Mr. The Baron, Inch. the Baroness. There you are. I am so sorry. Baroness <laughs> his Von face. Was a good I don't think woman. it's on purpose she to have so that face, but oh my god. As you say, He sir, does look like he dressed there uh, works at Mackay Dot Zer. He does dress like, like he works at McDonald's, is what you said. Yeah, no candles been complaining about that. First you sneak into the <laughs> candles not like that. Me, and then you want to leave just as quickly? I didn't want to disturb you, and we'll have time enough tonight. Yes, you simply must come tonight. I wanted to present Baroness von Trebitz with a medal. Now you'll have to accept it. Of course, if you insist, sir. The Baroness paid for all this. Without her, there wouldn't have been an exhibition or a gala. She was very generous. Yes, she was. I if you'll excuse me now. Constable Zellner, I want to thank you again for all you've done. You saved me, you could say. My pleasure. See you tonight. Has he not got any other clothes but butlering clothes? He's not a butler anymore. He can't bottle anymore. I mean, he is technically still able to but bottle for other people, but right now he can't bottle. Maybe he just likes suits? Take the gloves off at least. The gloves are horrible. Is this Matty's mum? Yeah. Miss Miller, I'm glad to see you here. Oh, Constable Zellner, I heard what happened to you on board. <laughs> awful, truly awful. All's well that ends well. You are waiting for Professor Lucien? Mm hmm. Professor Lucien? Tomorrow, you'll be sailing down the Nile, if I heard correctly. That's right. I'm sure it will be an amazing experience. But you don't seem to be very excited. Oh, but I am. It's very generous of Lady Westmacott to invite me, and especially Maddie. He'll learn a lot. But I doubt well, he'll learn Professor anything. Professor Lucien offered to join us. Then Matt will learn even more. And I'm sure it won't be unpleasant for you either. No, I, I just don't know how Maddie would react if Edgar came with us. I understand. I could test the water to see how he'd feel about it. Would you do that? Oh, thank you, Constable Zellner. Bustle? I can't remember if it's actually a word or not. I remember having this discussion with someone before. Well, not someone. I was in a Twitch chat. I'm pretty sure bottle is the actual... <laughs> or at least people use it for the actual word for butlers and what they do to bottle. I was waiting for you to say bottle. Look. It's one of my favorite words. Also, isn't it ironic that most stolen item in this story is actually Christie's IPs? I mean, this is basically just, <laughs> it is, it is, it is just Pryro, it literally just is. We, we've literally gone, we've literally gone from Murder on the Orient Express, just there was no Murder on the Orient Express, to basically Death on the Nile, just we weren't on the Nile, you know? <laughs> Basically, is what we've done. Were you able to find out why Professor Lucien left the forecastle so suddenly last night? No, not really. We only had a brief conversation. He was still very nervous. He was like that on the train I know it by a well. clue and Tim Curry's Seems usage of it. It might have been... Um, it must be something to do with the burglary at the museum. It really affected him. But he told it me might have to been pushing up anything. roses then. He it might have just been a YouTube bit. No, I definitely over. had a conversation really? about it. How did he mean that? Oh, I... It's my absolute favorite thing. Echoey? 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 Are there other passengers from the ship here? Oh, yes, we arrived. I think they're trying to put, make it sound like the us. area so is really Ms. big. The, Mr. um... He seems to have gotten over the death of the Baroness pretty quickly. He seems positively Is there relaxed. an echo? I've met They him. don't always put he the effects on, the on every sentence life, for so some reason. Where is Mr. Kreutzer? He's over in the treasure chamber. 
Maddie is downstairs in the main hall. I'm afraid I'll hear the sound of something priceless shattering any second. Well, Matt maybe keep your careful, fucking Miss child. Miller. I'll continue my tour of the museum. Is there an echo? Oh, is there an echo? Yes, is there an echo? There's so much to see. Someone fucking slap fictional. Oh god, here we go. My chat is now just echoing. Mr. Kreutzer will provide the background music tonight at the opening. Does he have anything else on his agenda? Hi, Trey. Oh my god. How are the that window's Mr. going Kreutzer? crazy. I don't have Average. any water with me at the minute. I wouldn't have expected anything Give else me a second, than a big Leo. stone cavern. How does it feel to have been accused of murder and to escape by the skin of your teeth? The whole thing could have had a bad ending for you. You didn't have an alibi. It was your gun. I must admit that I can imagine better ways to spend my time than being roughed up by Inspector Legrand. Your snooping actually paid off for me this time. Did you ever suspect me? Of murder? No. I think you're too intelligent to shoot someone with your own gun without arranging an alibi for the time of the crime. What do you mean, damn it? What have you done now? I'm gonna go get some water. I couldn't hydrate Echo fast enough. Ha ha ha! Fuck you, nerd. Wow! Wow! I see how it is! Well, there's one of your fucking hydrates, you little shit! It seems like a lot of the passengers from the ship are here this morning. Nearly all of them. I had a brief conversation with the Baroness's butler. Between you and I, he seems quite happy to be rid of the old battleship. Mr. Kreutzer. Young Miss Mayers was here as well. Unfortunately, it seems like she's already disappeared again. Forget it. She's engaged. And the old witch with her caretaker and her brat are also the here. Old what witch. do you have against Lady Westmacott? The lady is more callous than the Queen of the Night. She chased her own son away. Ice cold. I met him briefly. Flew to America because he couldn't stand her anymore. Hmm. Did any of the guests behave suspiciously? Was anyone unusually interested in the treasure chamber or the security system? I couldn't say. I'm here to check the acoustics and then I'll come back for the gala tonight. I'm not interested in your detective games. The newspaper this morning is full of reports about the events on board. I've seen them. Someone must have informed the press directly from the ship. He probably got a pile of money for the story, don't you think? And again, they want to ruin my reputation. But no, Constable, it wasn't me. I didn't even consider it. And I, I don't it was believe him. Why? The story is in all the papers. You get more money if you sell the dirt to just one paper as an exclusive. Who do you think it was? Hmm. The young guy, 
and stole away? This they guy is a right piece of work. Let's not forget, this, this is morning. the guy that actually but stole up until then, from the he Baroness. He was in the cell the whole time. Perhaps Miss Mayers. Maybe she wants to become an actress and needs a bit of publicity. Whoever it was, they wanted to make sure that the story spread and they weren't after money. So, what were they after? Well, I'm looking forward to the concert. It will be an unforgettable night. Alright. You're just gonna have to sit here in whatever noise this is. Because Leo's taken my, you know, taken my time. There's your stretches. I still got to do a minute of fucking waits for him. Here's another hydrate. Fucking ABC. I fucking saw that before I stood up. I see how it is. I'll be around for Gilbert Knight is something only murderers say. I was about to hydrate for team two. <laughs> of course you were. You wanted to be a healthy water bag. I read it originally as water hag, and I was like, I'm not a hag. Not yet, anyway. Give me a couple more years. Has the storm died down for you yet, Lo? Are you still... Are you still being ravaged by God's revenge on you? Is Zeus still being a bitch to you? Do, do, do. Alright. There's the fucking wait. Clobble, clobble. Did I just fucking chuck them? Put my headset back on. And here's another hydrate. Ah. Now to play the game. What was the background? Dies. That must be the treasure chamber where the Eye of the Sphinx is due to be exhibited. The display case is already prepared. Dumbbell ASMR. Where I just chuck my dumbbells around well the place. Well trained guards are usually the best security system. Although they didn't manage to stop the raven in London. Chen is hoping to send enough water your way to get some of the storm to go away. Exclusive and unique. The eyes of the Sphinx exhibited together for the first time ever. Hopefully the visitors will be satisfied with a single eye. Otherwise, all this effort will be for nothing. Okay. No, sir. I'm from the Swiss police. I want to check the security arrangements. No one may enter the treasure chamber before the delivery has arrived. Hmm. Why does he think the Swiss police has any say in what happens in Cairo? Oh, so that's very pretty Anubis right there. How do I get away? Wait, game? Game, how do I go back? Game? Oh. Th this right here isn't a wall like I thought, it's the way out. And, right, if we are the raven, we kind of suck at it. I mean, we kind of suck at being a police officer as well. Several daggers in a row. The shapes and patterns look timeless, elegant. What does it say here? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. The dagger on the left is a replica of the dagger from the tomb of Tutankhamun. It must have been incredibly precious during his lifetime because it's made of iron. Thousands of years before the Ice Age, meteorites were the only source of pure iron. So a star that fell from the sky, bringing a substance that's harder than anything they'd known before, would have been a dramatic event. No wonder they used it to forge a weapon for the godlike Pharaoh. All I remember about Turin Carmen is he died as a kid. I can't even remember why he was famous. Oh, Lady Westmacott's behind here. All right. Impressive, isn't it? Thousands of years old and still beautiful. That it is. They dug it out of the sand near Thebes. Yeah, over King Tut. Years ago. I was there. Really? I met my husband there. He was an assistant on the dig and was ordered by the director of the excavation to take care of that writer. I financed many excavations in the following years, here in Egypt and in the Near East. I visited my husband together with our son. It was the best time of my life. But a museum is no place for nostalgia. What can I do for you? Is it not? I thought it would be the best place. His was the only team that wasn't robbed. You've had Fair. a long and successful life, Lady Westmacott. What's that supposed to mean, Mr. Zellner? That I should be ready to leave the stage? Because I'm not. Oh, I didn't want... I'm here... And then we went and stole from it anyway. Or was. I have never lived as much as I have here. No fame, no money can buy that. I understand. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Constable Zellner. Such an outburst isn't fitting for a woman of my age, and an English woman at that. Let's talk about something else. Your son. You haven't said much about him, or perhaps you did, just not by name. You're an attentive listener, Mr. Zellner. I was wondering why you knew so much about Miss He was the first tune that was robbed by the British. Happy marriage. I stopped paying his bar tabs. Very, very lucky. To hush things up. He got to know her and went with her to America to start a new life. You can change your name easily, but not who you really are. He has my eyes, doesn't he? The part two novel is for him, isn't it? If I couldn't provide Matthew with a good father, then at least I can provide him with a good start in life. That's two mysteries I called. When I was working on the ship, I felt like one of the detectives in your novels. You were lucky. It was an unusual murder. Most murders happen in the heat of the moment or are committed by idiots. They're uninspired. But Gebhardt thought it through. He could have succeeded. Hmm. I don't know. He made too many mistakes. He couldn't have known that the Baroness, almost unconscious from the drugs, would lock her cabin door. But that was a risk. The plan was too complicated and sloppily executed. You certainly are a harsh critic, Mr. Zellner. He could have shot her on the side deck and thrown the weapon into the sea. With no witnesses, no one would have suspected him. How boring. Or if it had to be a complicated plan, then he should have worked more carefully. Should have thought of everything, had a plan B in place. Maybe he didn't have enough time. He had only a few hours to plan and commit the murder. Still, he should have covered his tracks more carefully. The audio tape, the bloody glove, none of that should have stayed in the medical center. Why, though? If you weren't there, he'd already made, well, people had already made the, their mind up that the Raven had done it and that the doctor was helping them. You know, LeGrand was never going to look in the medical center for anything. Oliver for sure wasn't going to look anywhere for anything. He was too busy to sleep in a chair. If we weren't there, he would have got away with it just basically because they're chasing a phantom. That they now think is him.
You don't have to apologize, dog, but I just thought you went to get your food. She wanted us to have a fun mystery to solve. She was there like, oh, he's a fan. I'll just murder someone on this boat so that he can have some good times. Do you think that Dr. Gebhardt was the raven? Was? Do you think he's dead? The letter sounded like he committed suicide. There's your answer. Does that sound like the raven? Being unmasked? Taking the easy way out? My sentiments exactly. The Raven wouldn't commit murder, get caught, and then jump into the sea. You don't want everything to be over, do you? It's my chance to do something great. It can't be over yet. At least you solved the murder of the Baroness. You're a hero. That's not how the newspapers see it. Nor I. Something's missing. I can achieve more. Careful, Constable. He who flies too close to the sun... Is that the myth of Icarus? To be honest, no. The story is Greek, and was only written down a thousand years later. I was counting on the dramatic effect. Oh, worked well enough. What? 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 That didn't even make any sense. That made no fucking sense. Let's assume that the thief is still out there. Who is he? If all this were a novel, then it would be the one you least expect. Is that intended to be a confession, Lady Westmacott? What do we know about the new raven? He's a man who would stop at nothing. Must it be a man? And how do we know that it's just one person? There could be several people collectively pretending to be the raven. She's so definitely the fucking raven. Anything. That's not completely true. We know that he or she wants the Eye of the Sphinx and will probably strike here, assuming he or she hasn't already gone. It may be the end of the story for me, Lady Westmacott. Inspector Legrand will arrive soon and send me to the hotel. I'll return tonight for the gala, hoping all the while that the Raven does dare to attempt a burglary. Tomorrow morning, I'll have to return to Switzerland. What an unsatisfactory ending that would be. It wouldn't be a triumphant ending. But it could be worse. At least you'd still be alive, Constable. Will you attend the gala tonight, Lady Westmacott? But of course. The antiquities, the delightful atmosphere. And who knows? Perhaps there will be another spectacular burglary. And These two old men. The doesn't leave until tomorrow. And believe me, I'd cancel the cruise. These two old always, biddies. All they're doing is sat here like, I chat, hope there's a burglary. I hope there's I'm crime. Little chats, constables Why isn't there goodbye. crime? I want more crime in my life. A figure of Imhotep who comes in peace from around 2700 BC. The first polymath known by name. Godfather of medicine, architect of the first pyramids, and according to legend, the inventor of Egyptian writing. He certainly I wish he'd stop whistling. I hate the whistling life. thing. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but I hate it. He was a legend. The Greeks called him a god. The Romans still honored him 3,000 years after his death. Even today, there's more than one raven, a, a whole flock of ravens, Imhotep even a murder of ravens. Really impressive. I see what you did there, Candle. I see what you did. This is Akhenaten, the only pharaoh whose portrait I always recognize. He has a very unusual head. Akhenaten was the husband of Nefertiti and the father of Tutankhamen, a famous family. But he went down in history as the pharaoh who wanted to eliminate the old gods and replace them with a single god. The priest and kindness of ravens. He died of unknown causes. I love ravens. I don't Ahoy think there. ravens would be the unkind. The statue was talking. Yes. And what did it say? It said it was. That's a very bad word. I know. And an English one. Don't you think it's odd that an old Egyptian statue speaks English? Don't you think it's odd that a statue speaks at all? That would have been my next question. <laughs> we, we've got, we've got, we've got to complain about the fact that it's speaking in English first, 
after we get our ha heads around it being in English, we can worry about if it should be talking at and, all. Uh, is the statue talking to you right now? Do you think I'm nuts? No, of course not. I just thought you might have much better ears There's obviously than a me. secret pa panel behind be it or something. Some cop you are, Mr. Zellner. This is a mystery. The English are mental? Excuse You're me? Right. It's just... Don't you believe me? It's fucking excuse me, Candle? Come here and say that to my face. What if you don't count your whale? Hmm. We both agree that a stone statue without a mouth or vocal cords cannot speak, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay. That means you heard something else. And we have to find out what or who it was. Roger. The American can't say anything, that's for sure. I'm almost a bit envious of you. Going up the Nile on a ship, it must be great. Yeah, I guess. You don't sound so keen. I think my mom wants the professor to come too. And you don't? He just wants to spend some you time with his mom. Me. What if mom marries the professor and doesn't work with the lady anymore? We'd have to move to London and I'd have to go to a new school. You like your life as it is, and you don't want to change a thing, right? Mm-hmm. But have you ever thought about whether your mother is happy? The world doesn't revolve around you, you know. If you're unhappy, you have to do something. Sometimes you have to take a chance. And in that case, you need all the help you can get. Do you mean mom isn't happy? I don't know. What do you think? This will all be over soon. Then I'll finally have time for you. I, uh... We wanted to head back to the hotel. Certainly. And tonight at the gala, I'll show you around the museum. Oh, I hope nothing okay? happens and to him. Have you made I want, up your I mind want Matty and her mum to have well, a good time. Well, I don't really know. Oh, come on, Mom. Who could teach us more about Egypt than the professor? Then it's settled. I'm guessing if we gave the other... the other option, then Matty uh, would I be like, I don't want that. him there. Well, Mom, sometimes you have to take a chance. Maybe the kid's a raven? Well? Who wants ice cream? Oh, that's so cute. Mr. Zellner still owes me some. Mr. Zellner doesn't have a head anymore. What the hell is wrong with this game? I was a little on the dead side there. You know what? I actually have ice cream. I have ice cream and I have that chocolate sauce that Leo kept talking about. That hardens when you use it. Oh. Oh. Guys. Guys, oh, it's five o'clock. I think I'm going to end stream here and I'm going to go get ice cream and then we can go and watch some Mighty Boosh in voice chat. Oh, I think that's what's going to happen. Wait a minute, let me turn the game off. Oh, save game. It's time to break from it seems. Don't worry. It's got it's got a week of rest now ahead of it. It's got an entire fucking week to rest. Right, that's it. We're done. Let me put some music on. Oh, Mr. Selner. Thank you guys for all being here. We're gonna write um Squid because it's Squid Subathon today. Squid is celebrating two years of affiliate and six hundred followers. Thank you for the hydrate, Lyle. 
Try not to die, buddy. I will miss you greatly if the storm murders you when you're asleep. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I hope everyone has a good rest of the day. Those who are coming with me aren't going to have a good rest of the day. They're going to watch the Mighty Boosh. But yeah, go give Squid some love. I'm going to clean up my mess and I'm going to go get ice cream and then I will be back. We are back tomorrow, so I'm going to start at 1. We're going to do some Final Fantasy 14, not 14, 13, until 3 p.m. Then 3 p.m. BST, we will do golf. So if you've got golf and you want to join in, 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon, we will be doing golf. Just so you know. Also, next week, I actually do have to change back to Tuesday and Thursday. I know it's only been a week of Monday and Wednesday streams. But I'm looking after Giles on Monday and I'm doing stuff on Wednesday. So I need to move back to Tuesday, Thursday. So next week's streams, Tuesday, Thursday. If I need to take any of those days off for debut stuff, if I ever get my model, because I still haven't got my model. If I need to take them off, I will be taking them off because I need to do stuff for the, the debut. But that might not be happening at this point because I still don't have the fucking model. But yeah, go give love. Go, go give love. Go, go, go give Squid some love. Okay? Okay? Go give her some love. Bye-bye, everyone. Love you all. Bye-bye.